might be laggy. Or oh, I mean delayed, that's what oh, I mean. Delayed. Not laggy. Delayed. What's up, what's up guys? Oh wait, here we go. Yep. People here we want go. to be mod. Thank you, Fisher. Um Thank you. Let's see. Anybody else that wants to be a mod, please let me know because this might get insane. I don't know if it's gonna be insane or not, but um what I'm gonna do actually seems like it might be a lot. What's up, Ashley Wheeler? Um so we are going to be um YouTube is live? Yes, okay. YouTube is live. We're not mic'd today, so just... So we're going to be yelling. So let yes. me know on YouTube if you can hear me okay. We have a Nordstrom palette here. So this is the this is the plan. Uh, everything is $10 today. It's brand new with tags Nordstrom. I have everything listed in the buy now. Okay, so I'm going to be giving away a $100 gift card. All of the... Um, it's going to be giveaways all day in the regular. So $100 gift card right now. Um, we're going to give away for the people who are watching. All of this stuff is in the buy now. You can buy one piece for $10. If you've never used WhatNot before, you get a $10 credit from me for using my code, Daily Refinement, which is in the description. So if you use that code, you can get your first item for free plus shipping. I have sets of one, sets of 10, and sets of 25. We're going to open this live and let you guys know what we get. So hopefully on YouTube you can hear me. If you can hear me okay or WhatNot, let me know. Um, we'll try it out. Christy, what's up? What's up, Sacramento? Yeah, Chris. I'm right next to you. Oh. <laughs> right, wow. Sound as good? Sound as good as I'm here. Um, I'm loud. I'm loud, but you're quiet. Because okay. I'm right next to the camera and okay. you're not. Oh, wait. Is that Holly? I know Holly is here. Let me give a feel for you. Um, Sorry, guys. It's loud. I know. It's going to be loud for a moment. Oh, let me get off, let me get off. And Christy. What's up? Wait, what's the question? The question is, okay. So, there's a code, which is like, um, whatnot.com slash invite slash daily refinement. If you've never purchased anything before, you get $10 off your first item, and items are $10 on the high end. Uh, I'm sorry, every single item is $10. So um, every item is $10. We're going to unbox this in just a second. Hopefully people on YouTube can hear. So today I want to do a Q&A on how to build a full-time living reselling. A lot of people have been asking about store reviews, how to get their stores going. Um, I just purchased, or I mean, I'm doing consignment with a lady with 7,700 items. She started thrifting when the pandemic started and she never listed a single item. So she has 7,700 items. So I did consignment on that. She basically bought nine items a day for 30 months in a row, every single day. So all that stuff is in the unit next door. Um, so I'm gonna be selling all that stuff for her. Um, but again, a lot of people can end up buying nine or 10 items a day, that's not a lot, right? So it's kind of easy to get into that habit, but you need to be able to list it all, that's the key. Um, it's very, very easy to buy 10 items a day. What's up, what's up Shelby? Okay, so you guys ready? I'm gonna open this up on YouTube. Is YouTube saying they can hear me? Uh, th just that they wish you were mic'd. Oh, I know you wish you were mic'd. We're oh, also no. filming this. That's why we're using the mic right now for something yeah. else. Okay, so what we're gonna do is when I open this up, I'm gonna write on it whoever purchased it. There are lots of 10, lots of 25, and single items for you guys to purchase. So let me know in the chat um, as we go. And I need some, I know there'll be people that are helping moderate. Um, but we're gonna go in here one at a time and I'm gonna write it on there as we go. So you guys ready? Give me an emoji if you want me to open this up. I haven't looked inside, I don't know what it is. All I know is that every single item is brand new. So brand new Nordstrom, I'm gonna write on here. You guys ready? All right, yeah. we got some emojis. Rev, if you wanna purchase, you have to go into the description and go to um, whatnot. Yep, and if you have any questions on reselling, today we're doing a Q&A, so a lot of people ask like how much money they need to resell. When can I quit my job is the most common question. How do I do this without any money or time? So we'll get into all that in today's stream. And we're gonna be giving away a, um, what's up eBay princess? Holly, Holly, I need your phone number. Well, I know you're married, I'm married to you. But I wanna know, <laughs> um, I wanna do some stuff together. Cause you're like the king of being able to buy these lots. And I wanna figure out, I need some experience from you. So let me know Holly. I know Holly just bought a lot too. So appreciate her so much. Um, but. We're going to be doing a live stream today, opening this up. Let me know um, in the chat if you have any questions, mm -hmm. but it's going to be interesting. So we're going to open this up and see, and also full transparency. 
I paid five thousand dollars for this lot. I'm hoping to make a twenty percent return. If I was selling it on eBay, I would be hoping to double my money. Does that make sense? Everybody got that? Buy something for five, try to at least double your money, make ten, make five, right? Spend five, make five. But since I'm auctioning it all off, starting at at ten dollars a piece, after all the fees end and after we're done shipping, I'm gonna make a thousand dollars. So that's twenty percent of my money. But I am also hoping to sell a pallet in one day. One day. So let's try. It. All right, you guys ready? Yep. So wait. Everyone's um, ready. <laughs> we'll try to go in order, and, and I'll write the username of the buyer on it. So we're going to open this up. I hope I hope it's exciting. So I'm going to randomly pick the item first. Whoa. I've never done an unboxing before, let alone a pallet. So what do you guys think? Well, give me your honest opinion. Do you think this is going to be garbage? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. And... If it is garbage, I will tell everybody what company it is. <laughs> okay? If it's not garbage, I will not tell anybody what it is because then I'll keep ordering from it. I don't know. If you think, I think it's going to be, I think, like, to be honest, I think probably 20 or 30% of it is awesome and 70% of it is sucks. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't know what's in it. Let me know. Let's try it. Okay. Let's do this first one. Actually, I wonder if... How am I gonna pull this up? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, because we're gonna take our time and do this today. We'll start at the beginning. So the first one is Do Yom 3, that's Mike. Mike, what's up? So we're gonna pick his item randomly. And then what's the best way for me to pick randomly? Should I just reach behind me? Let's see. D-O-Y-O-U. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll write I'll write a few because sorry guys, it's my first Do you want me to? It's my first or... day. Uh yeah, maybe. Let's see. River Gold Resale. Haley says it's like watching a kid on Christmas morning. <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. I literally don't know. The one thing that I don't like is that I can already see there's one accessory. All mm. clothing and one accessory. I don't like that. So I wish that it wasn't like that, but we'll do we'll do a few at a time. So we've got um, let's see, Gold's River. Fritzel bought ten pieces, so we're gonna start there. The first twelve pieces, Fritzel 05. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let's try this out. Also on YouTube, if you have any questions, it yeah. is an open Q and A. Yeah, there is one question. Okay, what's up? Let's see. I don't know if this is gonna be good. It might be all garbage. I have no idea. Okay, let's see. Privateer Merchant says, "Is it important to have a banner in your store, or and how do you make them?" No, it's not important to have a banner in your store. I would use Canva if you want to do a banner, but it's not important. All you have to do is have good items in your store. Don't need any marketing. Don't need social media. Don't need Instagram, don't need YouTube. It helps, but it's not important. If you have Gucci, Gucci will sell without any branding. Let's try it out though. First item is gonna be Doyom3, which is my friend Mike. Appreciate him supporting the stream. That's the first one. So I don't know what's the best way to look, so I'm just gonna reach behind <laughs> and feel and hope, and okay. Maybe close your eyes. I'll close my eyes. But the one thing that's interesting is that some of the items are bagged and oh. some of the items are not. Yeah. So maybe I'll alternate. I'll alternate. <laughs> okay. So so also, since it's not necessarily a card break, this will be the first item. Is it is this situation where I should say rip it or ship it just like the card breaks? Um, okay. This first item. Hold on here. And again. Oh, also, they told me that they removed the Nordstrom House brands. Okay, so I don't know if that's true. So if you guys see a Nordstrom house brand, let me know, because that's not cool. I will be asking for a refund. Okay, so this first item, it is a Wesley belted fit and flare dress. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let me know if this is a, a, a W or an L. Okay, so we're gonna rip this one. We're gonna rip this one. So we'll stay here all day. <laughs> we will. Okay, so this is Alice and Olivia. Right? Good brand. It's a dress. It's brand new. Win or loss? Ten bucks. This first one. 
So Allison, Olivia, you two. First one, it's a win, $10. Okay, so it says on here, MSRP, $350. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's exciting. Nice. Okay, so I honestly don't know. So this is my <laughs> friend Mike. He came up. I love it. Nice. It says fit and flare dress. So yeah, we can learn about styles together today. That's not bad. That's not bad. What size is it? Oh, that's a good question. Curious. Size is. Looks like a okay. small, maybe. Large. Oh, Wait, it's a large. Is no. it really? Four. Oh, size four. Size okay. four. What do you guys think? Size four is small. Yeah. Okay. I'd say size four is small. Not bad. Not bad. Medi some people say medium. Mm. So, mm. okay. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> so this is going to be, items. I don't know if this is the one. Please out. buy the lot because I do have a lot of energy though. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. First one. Did you put the sticker on it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Next one is. Chai says, see you at midnight. <laughs> see you at midnight, I know, right? I I'll stream all day. You guys know me. Okay, so next one, River Gold Resale. Let's go. So yeah, at 10.30, Asidra and Victor will come here and they'll help me out. It'll go a lot better. But we're going all day. All day. <laughs> Ask River Nurse Cindy, okay, go. Um, go to the Whatnot. Go to Whatnot and follow Daily Refinement. He's live right now. So on the, sh on the comment section, it'll say my link, which is whatnot.com slash invite slash daily refinement you can use my code for 10 bucks off and all the items are ten dollars so you can get your first item for free plus shipping so hook it up buy something from me okay let's see reaching back wait bag or no bag you want one that's in a bag or not let me oh she wants a bag okay verena says do you ship to canada yes canada and the uk you guys ready here we go three two one Okay, it's a bag. Okay, size 16. Wait, rip it or just ship it? It's new right now. Do you want me to open it? Oh, she wants to rip it. This is like Pokemon <laughs> cards. I yeah. Love it. Okay, here we go. So let me put the sticker on it. Is there anybody that's not going to want to open it? It's hilarious. Okay, here we go. So it's a size 16. I'm, I'm assuming it's a dress. What do you guys think it is? Yeah, it looks like a dress. It looks like a dress. There's the train. <laughs> I'm not gonna open these. Do you want scissors maybe? Just like do one oh, slice. Okay, so like this is not retail packaging, right? This is just Nordstrom stuffing in a bag. It's not real, right? I can cut this. I'm just gonna cut this. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Because like I don't wanna rip the item. Yeah, and right now I'm streaming by myself, but when Victor and Asidra get here, it'll be more fun. Okay. And the, if you guys are on YouTube wondering, let's look. Okay, this is, it's a dress for sure, size 16. So what do you guys think? Size 16 is good? And let me know if this is a win or not. This is, what is this? Okay, need help with keywords. That's pretty. It's a bigger dress. Mm -hmm. It does look pretty. It is new with tags. Again. These are from Nordstrom, so if there is damage, it's not on me. So, $129. This is a Tommy Hill figure dress. What do you guys think? Paisley? Win or loss for 10 bucks? Looks like there is a slip on the inside, too. Oh, that's kind a slip of. On the inside. But yeah. Okay. What size? Size 16. So, it's a yeah. bigger size. Good or bad? I think it's good. Win? Yeah. Loss? Okay, it's not pretty. bad, not bad. So, hopefully, people buy the bigger lots because this. We're People are saying win. Win? Okay. I mean, this for 10 bucks, it's like a good deal anyways. For 10 bucks, right? Yeah. There is combined shipping. You guys can support the stream and buy a daily refinement half for 10 bucks. I appreciate y'all. Okay. Oh, nice. You have those up on the Whatnot stream? The what? You have the hats up on Whatnot stream? I do. Nice. Also, guys, I forgot to tell you the best part ever. You guys ready? You ready for the best part ever? One person today will get a $500 Amazon gift card. Okay, so I'm gonna give away one $500 gift card to one person that buys something. So that's a lot, it's crazy. So it's worth it. Somebody's gonna turn 10 bucks into $500 Amazon gift card. That's crazy. So anyway, 
Okay. We're gonna do a lot. This is gonna be interesting. Um, let's see. I know you guys don't like tape. Wait, maybe, should I do the tape? Because it's gonna hurt people's earphones. <laughs> I wanna be careful of to... my viewer. Are um, you trying to package stuff? No, I was gonna put it in a box. But I oh, think, I, see. I see. Well, I guess when Victor and his teacher get here, we'll put it in a box. But we're gonna we're gonna go with Fritzel 05. Purchase ten items. Cindy, I see you. I see you. Twenty five items. That's sick. Okay, so if you buy ten items, you get ten entries. So Fritzel 05, she has ten chances to win the five hundred dollar Amazon gift card. I'll announce it at the end. So at the end, if you win, email me at chrisatdailyrefinement.com. And I'll make sure that I send it to the right email address. I'll have you confirm it before I send it over. So 10 entries for 10, um, for the 10 piece, and then 25 entries for the 25 piece. And it's, again, it's not a raffle. I'm giving it away. This is a true, the um, $100 Amazon gift card is just straight up. So you guys are just gonna get that. No purchase required. I'm just hooking up one person who buys it with that. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, pre I might need more mods because it's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, Mix Trends bought 10 pieces. Thank you. I was in your stream the other day. Hopefully, I'm following you guys. Um, doing my best. Trying to get it all out there. Okay, I'm going to shut up. 10 <laughs> items. 10 items. Okay, so I'm going to include the accessory in this one because um, I think that... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it blind. We'll just do it blind. This is going to take so long. <laughs> okay, here we go. This first piece. So this this person, Fritzel, paid a uh, hundred dollars for ten pieces. So let's try it. Piece number one. Ooh. MSRP one hundred forty nine dollars. This is the brand Marina. It might be an L. What do you guys think? Marina. It's not an L. One hundred forty nine dollars MSRP. It is new. It's so a win. Good. It's a win. Okay, people say it's a win. I've never heard of this brand, but they told me it's not. So this is item number one, so she has nine more. Shop 801 Lane. I'm coming to Utah on Saturday. I'm going to Dodo on, um, I'm going to go to Dodo in Sugar House in the morning. I was going to see if I could meet up with some Utah resellers. I know you have kids and it would be difficult, but I'm going to Utah on Saturday. So anyway, <laughs> nine more pieces and only 748 more. Okay, here we go. That's number one. I'm not gonna set it on. on oh, sorry. I'm not gonna sit on the floor because that would be scary. I'm hyped. Also, last night I went to Nine Inch Nails for the tenth time, so I'm super hyped. I'm jacked because I, I kind of consider myself an older guy because almost forty. But Trent Reznor, he's fifty-seven years old. He was dancing on the stage, having a great time. So I think maybe I'm not as old as I think. Okay, please number two. Okay. Remember, she bought 10 pieces for 100. This is... What is this? Prime fashion. This would probably be an L, right? Let's see. Prime fashion. Prime fashion. Okay, I don't even know what this is. This is for $10. Prime Fashion, YouTube, any questions? <laughs> it's a bikini, it's a bikini bottom. So this is not the best for two, for 10 bucks. Unless you but, find the match. <laughs> so wait, what is the uh, the piece before this? What was that word? Oh, there's a question here. This is awesome. I would keep this normally, but since we're selling it for people, you know, you can't smoke your own supply, as they say, as they say. Oh, there's a question on YouTube, they said. Okay. YouTube um, might be better be for questions because Christine is there answering. Yeah. Questions. Bold Fine says, how much is shipping to the UK for the hat? You can, it's, if in whatnot, I think it in says. In whatnot, in the terms and conditions, it will tell you how much shipping is. Yeah. To where okay, you this are. this is piece number three. I'm going to open it. Uh, Adriana Papel. This looks like a blouse. Okay, question. They say blouses have buttons. This has a button on the back. Right? Nine bundles left. I think I think we're probably gonna sell out, and it's gonna take me all day to explain what these are. <laughs> okay. it's, 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 it says this is Neo. One um, X. 
but it doesn't have tags on it. It only have this bag. So nothing inside, huh? Nothing inside. Let me see. This has not been worn, but there's no tags. So this is new without tags. But what do you guys think? For ten dollars, is this is this a W or an L? I think it might be an L. It's okay. Show and go. No, I'm, oh, it's still good. <laughs> no, right? They say show and go, but I'm not in a hurry. I, I, I got nowhere to be. I got nowhere to be. <laughs> this is my life. So we got seven more. Seven more pieces. Let's do it. So if you guys are not following me on YouTube, you can uh, on uh, YouTube or in or on whatnot. Cross, cross pollinate. Okay, here we go. Number three. Came the size was one X for that okay, this uh, one, blouse. MSRP one hundred and sixty eight dollars. This is the Anana Whisper Strappy Jumpsuit. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Jumpsuit. Let's size go. twelve. Jumpsuit size twelve. Nice. Think? Worth it for ten bucks. Definitely. This is uh, the brand French Connection. Me with tags. Win? Win? L? What do you guys think? Oh, people say it's a win. That's good. Yeah. That's good Amelia go. says definitely. Definitely. Okay. All right. I should have charged more. <laughs> oh, no, that was really kidding. cute. I'm I liked kidding. that so, one. So, like, um, the way I plan this is normally on when I'm reselling, I like to at least double my money. But because all this inventory is selling in one day, I'm basically looking for 20% return. So on a $5,000 investment for this, I'm hoping for 1,000 in return. I really want to visit Utah and see where Shop 801 Lane is shopping because she has her TikToks on point. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, have a new intern. And so <laughs> hopefully Connor will be able to make some awesome content for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, next piece. I'll shut up. <laughs> this is piece number five. Okay, we're ripping it. Okay, but if you want, I can keep it sealed for you, but I don't think people want that. They want to see what it, what's in it. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is Zella. So, okay, is Zella um, Nordstrom's athletic brand? Is that what it is? Zella. Yeah? yeah, all right. Okay, so this is, it's new, and it is size small. I know uh, Christy likes Justin Timberlake. I like him too, but... Let's see. So this is new. So it says Nordstrom Rack on it and $14.97. So for $10, I'm going to guess this probably would be an L if you're looking to resell it. Uh, but if you're looking to just wear it, it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> so, but some of the other pieces I think do make up for it. Okay, we're 1% done still. <laughs> still. Two, three, four, five pieces, five more to go. Ooh, this one has a hanger. Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is sick. This is sick. Okay. This is the brand Alex Evenings, size 14. $10, what do you guys think? Win or loss? W or L? It is new. All the items today are brand new. It's a win. It's a win. What size again? Size you 12. Said size 12. It's nice. Let's see. It is nice. Win, win, win. Are you guys just saying win because you want to be, you want to fit in, or is it really a good deal? Ten dollars. It is new. There's an L. This one is split. This one is split. So I'm not going to ship the hanger because uh, I need the space. So tactical Z says try it on. <laughs> I know. I, I would try it on, but. We, I have an OnlyFans stream starting at 9, <laughs> at 9 p.m., so I will be doing it there. I'm reseller after dark on OnlyFans. <laughs> Follow me there. <laughs> Follow me everywhere. Okay, so that's. I'm gonna keep the hanger on it because it's hard to get off. Hard to get off. So yeah, I, I'm I'm a busy man. <laughs> I'm a busy man. OnlyFans, 10 p.m. Reseller after dark. It's much more expensive. <laughs> Okay, next is piece number seven. You guys ready? All right, so this one, MSRP, $150. This is wild. There's some really good stuff in here. Okay, rip. Julia, yes, this is live on Whatnot. This so if you want to buy anything. YouTube, so I appreciate you guys. So um, this is a little bit risky because I, I am, I'm trying to be a Whatnot influencer and I'm hoping 
they get their contract to me today, so this stream will count. But I don't know. <laughs> if it doesn't count, it's all good. I appreciate you guys supporting me, YouTube, whatnot. It's been fun. Okay, this piece is Bell and Bloom. I don't know much about this brand, Bell and Broom. Is this a win or a loss? It is a trench coat. It's like a, it's like a waterproof trench. This is the this is the tag for you guys to check out. MSRP says one hundred and forty nine dollars. So hopefully you guys, this will be educational and you can learn about some brands. One forty nine. People are saying this is good for ten dollars. Not bad so far, right? Not bad so far. So I think for a hundred dollars. Wait, so we're only, let's see. Um, I'm so glad Victor and Isidro are here. This is really hard. <laughs> this is really hard. Yay, the cavalry. The cavalry is here. It's hard to do this. If you want to go far, go together. Our Barella says, where do you get the palette of clothing? I'm not going to tell you now <laughs> because this is actually decent. It's a secret. Come yeah, come on in. Yeah, we need you guys. How are you? <laughs> we need help. Isidro, it's been good. The stuff. Yeah. But CJ thought it would be all garbage. Yeah, I thought it would be all garbage. <laughs> she thought it would be all garbage, but so far it's been good. Okay, so... Um, so someone writing names probably for the orders. Yeah, somebody writing names for the orders. And then I need... Um, like, oh, bags are good. Uh, let me see. Let's do... It. So, okay. Do, do, do. We did the Nordstrom Rack sale, but this, these, these items are not from Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, someone said, how much did the palette cost? $5,000. $5,000. Okay, there's um, three more pieces in this lot. So I need to get some boxes and help me write the names for the, the people who bought them. Um, so you, oh, you got them? Yeah. So, okay. Three more items for this one. I'm going to pick three and then we're going to go. It's going to take all of them. <laughs> I did not plan this out well. Okay. So, I think this box is kind of fire, so I am going to throw in these AQS. Oh, there's no room over there. <laughs> <laughs> we should show, I just bought, all right, I'm consigning 7,700 items from this lady who bought items. She bought nine items a day for 30 months. So for two and a half years, she bought 10 items and didn't list any items. Yeah. So all those items are here, and we're going to be running those. So it's going to be... Even more wild. You guys thought this is wild? You haven't seen anything yet. So this is a pair of um, three-pack sports briefs. This is going to come with it. This is definitely an L. I don't think this is worth reselling for $10, but this is going to come with... Um, these are the last two pieces of the first lot. So if you guys are just buying a single item... Holy crap. This lot is this fire. Okay. Wow. So this one. <laughs> next piece. This is so wild. I can't believe how good this lot is. This is ridiculous. This is so good. Okay. So this is... Arborella, he's not revealing where he got it yet. I'm not going to reveal where he got it. <laughs> is it, on, it better not be on here. <laughs> I don't think it is. Is it on here? No, I don't think so. This is product of USA. I can't tell you now that it's, it's been decent. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the brand ASDR, Aster. And Trajano, he did not have a manifest for the palette, so no he has, he has no idea what's what was so in what this. So what is this? What is this? Um, this style called? Is this a win for ten dollars? <laughs> what do you guys think? Man, it's okay. Ten bucks. What's this style called? Oh, it's like a leotard or leotard? like a. I would try it on, but I told you that's only for my OnlyFans. <laughs> okay. What name did you stop at? I only did the first two. Pixel. Pixel. I'm doing this to bounce sound. Okay, this last one. I cannot believe this. This is ridiculous. Body suit. Amelia oh, says body a body suit. Body this suit. is crazy. Yeah. I can't believe this is in here. This is, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. So anything from Crystal, all above. Yeah, all above. This is a freaking North Face jacket. This is so wild. Oh, I guess it's kids. Oh, it's so it, cute. It is, it is really cute. <laughs> oh my God. I, I thought this is going to be an adult uh, North Face. This <laughs> would be ridiculous. This is wild. So MSRP, um, $63, but it is cute. What do you guys think? Worth it? The win? Is this worth it for $10? It is, it is small. Chai says still $10 is fire. Still $10 is fire. Everyone give me a emoji. I think it's pretty legit. I think it's pretty fire. It's so cute. It is cute. It's like a doll. So it is, um, 
<laughs> it is cute. That's a banger. I yeah. Like it. I like it. Okay, so that's cool. So thank God the team is here. Because... Is this one? Yeah. Okay. Trajano said, did you have an RRP for the palette? What's, what is an RRP? What's RRP? I'm new to this. So... What's RRP? I don't know. Guys, what is, what is RRP? No manifest. Yeah. So I don't know what's in it. Oh. I know, 300 people is nice, it's fun. Oh, wait, how are we doing on, is there a lot of stuff left for sale? Um, I don't know if there's stuff left for sale. Oh, recommended retail price. Was oh, there a recommend recommended retail price for yes. this? Yes, the recommended retail price on this was 74,000. 74,000. So bought it for 5,000, recommended MSRP 74,000. But MSRP, you don't really even know what it is. Like when you get it, it, it's, uh, it is interesting. Um, singles are sold out. Wow. That's good because it, it, um, it would be a lot of work to do all singles. So wait, we have, um, let me see. Any more lots, 10 for 100? Let me look. Okay, so we've got five bundles of 25 left. All the 10s are gone. Wow. You haven't done this yet? I haven't done the same. I've only done three. <laughs> <laughs> We've been going done for only done three auctions. So. Thirty minutes. The <laughs> next single. Uh, single. Okay. All right. Here we go. Single. Let's do it. Let's do it. This one has no bag. Feels like a pair of jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that that might be the bag. <laughs> Probably. Or you threw a bag back in. I think for something. Well, this this is the bag. I think. Okay. okay. So, Go Suns 40. Appreciate you. Go Suns 40. I think this is it. Oh, no, this is not. This is not the right bag. This is the item, though. So, this is a pair of Democracy jeans, size 12. Democracy jeans, size 12. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, those of you on YouTube, if you have a question, um, I normally don't do super chat. I normally, you know, like, whatever. It's awesome, but you can support the stream and buy an item. Is a Democracy pair of jeans for $10 worth it? Not worth it. It says MSRP is $79. So what do you guys think? Worth it? Not worth it? Okay. Go Suns for it. Um, actually, I'm going to stick it on the tag. So mm -hmm. we don't lose it. I'm going to stick the actual name on the tag. So mm -hmm. There'll be a little bit of residue on the corner, but that way we get these out to the right person. And apparently we're almost sold out, so... Um, so I put the number, if there's one, there's one. Oh, thank you. Okay, perfect. I can't believe the hundred sold out. That was quick. Um, okay, so it's going to take me the rest of the day to talk about what happened, but that's okay. We got time. <laughs> if you guys have questions, DM me at chrisanddailyrefinement.com. Ask me anything. Okay. Gee, I am hungry. That's a great name. <laughs> Gee, I am hungry. I, I'm i doing okay. You guys hungry? <laughs> I'm, I might have it. Maybe for lunch. What should we order up. for lunch? I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, euros. Mm, yeah, Ooh, that okay. sounds good. Yeah? Okay, well, you, we're having euros for lunch. <laughs> uh, Gee, I am hungry. Okay, I gotta, I gotta work. <laughs> you know how you guys are like... Anyway, okay. This is, this. I think is going to be good. So MSRP, $179. Let's go. What? Let's go. Gee, I am hungry. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What do you guys think this is? What do you guys think this is? Oh, it looks like shorts. Yeah. How can shorts be that expensive? Okay, frame. So frame is the brand so far. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, it's shorts. So is this a win or an L? Size 29, frame denim shorts, win. It's got the clearance tag on it. The clearance price is still $69.97. $69.97. They're saying it's a win. Gee, I am hungry. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. All right, let's try this. This is <laughs> <laughs> clearly in no hurry. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, Rachel, he's generally reading whatnot, but if you have a question yes. here, feel free to yeah, ask, ask a question, question and I will read please. it for you. Um, because, yeah, we're, we're trying this out. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Uh, wait, G.I.M. Hungry says, 
you already have your own half pallet. Well, I'm not sending you that much. I'm not sending you that much. Um, okay, here we go. Next is Francis, Francis K206. I'm a little afraid because it's a little light. <laughs> so, okay, this one might be our first L. Maybe not. It's a new with tag champion thing. Size extra large. It's very light. So I don't know if this is gonna be. This is gonna be good. I'm assuming it's not. We haven't had many L's today. It's been mostly wins. Mm -hmm. uh, Don says, "How many items are in the pallet?" Seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred and fifty. So this is. I, it appears to be a sports bra. So, new with tag sports bra. I would say this oh, is an L for $10. So, this is the first one. Some people have been coming up huge, but for $10, it's tough. Arlene says, I live in the Bay Area. Can I save on shipping and pick up in person? Not yet. So, I think yeah, not yet on whatnot. whatnot is going to start offering local pickup at some point. Yeah. But um, right now, there's no option for local shipping. Mm. Um, but we will try it. We will try it. Um, Peyton says, if I gave you $100, would you give me the supplier, LOL? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> if it's going to be like this, then no. And okay, I got a question for you guys. Do you think that it's BS because when I order, they know it's me and they send me better stuff? I don't know. Real talk. Is it, <laughs> is it fake? Because they know that I might open it. Is it fake? Because mm. I, I, I did not open this. If I had opened this, I wouldn't have charged $10. Ten dollars is way too cheap. Mm -hmm. Like we, we waited in line for hours at Nordstrom Rack to buy the same stuff. Okay, that's that's very odd. <laughs> very odd. Because like they have a giant building worth of stuff in. I'm nobody. Okay, here we go. Alex breaks one piece. Let's go. Alex breaks one piece. How many people are on YouTube? Uh, we got two hundred and sixty-seven right 267, now. Two sixty-seven, not bad. Okay, here we go. So this is Nordstrom. Okay, it's looking like another L, but I don't know. We'll see. Because it only has a price of $19. Mm. So, okay, another question. Is it staged, as in they put a lot of good items on top? Is the rest of it going to be doo-doo? Mm. What do you guys think? Traditionally, when you buy a pallet, all the good stuff is on top. I don't know, because I bought it, uh, I bought it unseen. Okay, let's see. This is... All right, let's see. This is the brand. I swear to God, I've done this before. Okay, <laughs> BP, Brass Plum. Brass Plum, size large. This is definitely an L for 10 bucks. It's not a win. Who said it was a win? This is not a win. Uh, <laughs> maybe for 10 bucks, I don't think so. So, not bad though. Mm -hmm. And again, you win some, you lose some. That's part of the whatnot. Don't leave me a bad rating. That's very unprofessional <laughs> and, and impolite. It's impolite. You know where I get the most bad ratings? Giveaways. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to get this $100 gift card and say, arrived slower than I thought. <laughs> Two stars. For a free $100. <laughs> I know. Mean, it's, it's really... It doesn't make sense. Bold Finds says, question for Chris. When is he going to come to the UK and hang out with the UK sellers? Ooh, I love the UK. Casino <laughs> yeah, I love um, the UK. I love the UK so much. It's like, um, there's a coffee shop there called Gales that I really like. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. um, oh my God. Look at how Soon, much, hopefully, then. Look at this. this look, I have so much work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's crazy. It's wild. Okay. I think y'all, y'all need to, um, A lot of people like give up after like a short amount of time trying. It requires a lot of effort to get a business off the ground. Mm -hmm. A lot of energy. So don't give up because I see these posts like I've been listing for three days. It's not working. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. And, and that post has like 90 likes. <laughs> okay, I'll stop it. I'll stop it. Okay, so here we go. Lady Farm 01. Okay, well, this is heavy. This, this is actually, I don't need, Lady Farm, you need to provide a tip, because this is heavy. <laughs> okay, looks like a coat. Okay, the size large, 
What do you guys think? I, th I think based on the the size of this is a W, but I don't know. Look at me, look at somebody spamming my chat. Hopefully you bought something. Do you guys go into other people's streams and, and spam your store? I personally don't do that. But Lady Farm, I'm glad because she's a frequent buyer. This is a Bell and Bloom. Bell and Bloom is the brand. It's very soft, designed in Australia. Mm. Let's see. Size large. The color is military green. This is nice. Um, where's the, where's the made of? Okay, I wanna have you guys test. Can you tell what this is made of? I have no idea. <laughs> Expensive. <laughs> Connor says expensive. <laughs> uh, Victor, what's this made out of? Were you testing me? I'm testing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like material? Yeah, material. What do you guys think? What's this made out of? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to stand. What do you think? think? It's not suede. It's not like suede. a felt of some sort. Probably a couple hundred. Um, it's it's um a wool blend. So ah, chai here, right? Sixty percent wool, forty percent polyester. Not bad, not bad. It looks velvety, but it's actually it looks not velvety. velvety. Yes, but yeah, it's wool. So this is definitely a win, right, Lady Farm? You came up, I think so. Ten dollars for this coat. Washable. St I don't know if it's washable suede. Does wool blend really mean washable suede? I don't know. That's just <laughs> what it says on the tag. <clears throat> Thank God I'm not in charge of shipping. Because imagine this came in the mail. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Lady Farm, nice pickup. How are we doing? Are there, is there still stuff for sale? Is there still stuff for sale? Should have done more. There it is? Okay. Because we got way more stuff. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, unfortunately. Uh, okay. I can't add more. That's it. We have the whole palette. We're still 1% done. <laughs> I don't think we've done seven yet, and there's 750 items. <laughs> Okay, so we got MPL. MPL, what's up? Hope you guys have. Hope you guys took the day off. <laughs> it's time to call it safe. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, this one seems light. Okay, um, I'm not gonna open. I, I guess I could open it. Do I need to open this? It's a brass plum, glove and beanie. Glove and beanie. Sold out? Well, that was, that was fast. That's cute. So it's, okay, they want, oh, they want us to open it. They say <laughs> it's a house brand. That's true, BP is a house brand, Brass Plum. So the brand BDG, do you guys call it Bulldog? Because, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a kid's set of uh, mittens. Wait, are mittens the ones with holes? Mm. No, I think the one, mittens are like the ones with no fingers. So these are gloves. gloves okay, think. gloves. Beanie. Second house brand item. I don't know what's, somebody tell me what's sold out. Is everything sold out? These are gloves. Sorry, first day. Uh, the buy now bundles, wow, it's crazy. Chai says, yeah, you're sold out. That's amazing. Hi, John. <laughs> if you guys like it, we'll be back with more. Having a great day. Cause you guys, if you know me, I'm like this every day. Okay. Um, Bold Fine says Chris will be doing the stream for at least four days. I know. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time. Nice. Grit 0091. Let's go. Okay, so um, maybe we'll do. Should we do this entire lady stuff in one day? I guess so. Maybe we'll try it. We'll try it. The hype is real. Because uh, they bought how much? They bought 750 items. And, like, how long have we been doing? Not even an hour yet. <laughs> Guys, calm down. <laughs> we didn't even get to see. Okay, I gotta go. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. This is. It appears to be jeans. 
three girls. Um, he is unboxing a I'm giant pallet. So this is White House Black Market. Nordstrom. No, no. Yeah, White House Black Market shorts. And people are auctioning, or they bought um, mystery this, items. This is weak. This is weak, in my opinion. Because wait, isn't White House Black Market not a Nordstrom brand? I know, it's super weak. Okay, so does this mean it was a return? The okay. slash on this, it? This, this is a false return. Interesting. Okay, so... This is not cool, but I only have 750 pieces in this palette. So, Brittany, I'll hook you up with something different because this is not even a Nordstrom brand. Also, it's not even new. Hmm. That's pretty oh, yeah. weak. Yeah. It's pretty weak. Okay, I'll be revealing who I bought it from. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. So far, so far I don't know if it's gonna be. So like, is this one of those situations where it's only good on top? I don't know. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. Okay, we'll try this one first. Now, big boy. Big boy, okay. Do we have a box? Yeah. Marley is wondering what that Jersey 27 is right back there, that pink one. Oh. Thank you. What is Jersey 27? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. They're just curious. It's a Juventus. This is a 27 for the soccer team. Nordstrom accepts everything. They accept return. They have really, really good customer service. So this person probably said I bought it here and I uh, want to return it. And they said, okay, but that's not cool because this is supposed to be all new with tags. Yeah. And it's supposed to be all Nordstrom brands. White House Black Market, I think it has its own store in the mall. So, okay, we're going to do 25 for zucchini. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to um, talk to them about that. Brittany, don't worry, I'll take care of you. Okay, 25 pieces. Um, maybe it's a little hand me? Yeah, just give me just what you want to do. I want you just to hand me. Oh, maybe you can get 25 items ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, for, the, for the people that has uh, 10 or 25, we'll just stuff it in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that works. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to do 25 items. This is going to be epic. So, wait, I can't look though. One, Two, three, come on. Well, this is heavy. Four. Um, Andrea, they are on Whatnot, and that's where people have bought mystery items from this Five, palette. Six, I believe he is all sold out, six, though, but you can check it out. Uh, link in the description. Eight, um, Daily Refinement. Follow nine, Daily Refinement on Whatnot. Ten, He's 11, live there right now. 12, 13, 14, just make the 25 and 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, I think this is going to be a good one, this is really heavy, <laughs> whoa, oh it's connected, 19, 20, 21, wow, this is, oh big, this one's coat. ridiculous, it has a big fur coat in it, Oh man, okay. <laughs> I love it. Alright, here we go. Are you guys having a good time? I'm having a good time. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to be ripping all of these, but maybe I should. Why not? Why not? So, first item. Okay. This is... That's cute. Sweater. I think this is nice. Mm -hmm. This is new. It's the brand Cloth, which I'm not familiar with. I'm assuming it's a lower end Nordstrom brand. Cloth with a period. Is this a win? Win, not a win? W, it's new. With some nice boots. Mm -hmm. Okay, people like that. <laughs> This box is definitely a win because it has some huge pieces. Like this is a big coat. So. Wow. Okay. This is a big fur coat. Okay. 
can't believe I only charged ten dollars. I know. I was just. <laughs> I was literally just I'm thinking. Such a, I'm such a moron. <laughs> Every single thing is a win. Okay, so this is the brand Gallery. <laughs> Gallery New York, size small. So not a super hype brand, but um, it's not, I'm not gonna put. I don't have any more. It's sold out. The whole <laughs> entire palette sold out. But I do have more stuff for sale. So um, we're gonna redo this. And guys, bookmark all my shows. Please bookmark all my shows because it's gonna start getting crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna start getting crazy. I'll do the I'll do the giveaway shortly. Um, yeah, so it's important to bookmark all my shows, which I'll update later today with all the future shows. Okay, here's another one. So this one looks like it has two coats. Wow, I can't believe this sold out. Mark New York. This is a Mark New York jacket. Win for ten bucks. Do you want to get from this angle? It is new. It's the Barlow model. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Okay, so maybe we should make the show right now. Um, the yeah, the consignment because it's, it took up so much room. Did you open it? <laughs> is, 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 is what you guys want to see this? <laughs> Wait. We have to show you. Okay, the okay, it's okay. So we're moving. Sorry, we're, we're going to show we're you moving. what it's, it's happened ridiculous. this morning. We just okay, filmed so it this morning. This, 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 look at this. It's ridiculous. This lady, the stuff that I got from her, it filled up my entire storage. Unit. It's seventy-seven hundred items. So she um, she bought ten items every single day for thirty months in a row. She bought ten items a day for two and a half years during the pandemic so it's easy to do that because she didn't really notice so the items came in the, the company is called clutter so they picked up all the stuff and then brought it in it's like so anyway they dropped it off this morning and I, I totally okay here's the thing when you guys think bin right i thought if you guys seen my bins they're 56 gallons right there's something in my eyebrow <laughs> money <laughs> okay so I thought that they were gonna be 56 gallon bins, but they're 110 gallon bins. Oh, tears? <laughs> tears, of tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we could sell these items, but we don't. I don't know what they what they are. Like I don't. I want to show it actually on the stream. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe we'll make the show later. But it's ridiculous because this is like um, I'll show you guys later on the YouTube video. Yeah, it basically we filmed. Like an entire box truck of stuff was unloaded. It was wild. Three years of clothing. So she basically. Um, it's like all the way. She brought it back. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just completely filled. This lot is obviously a win for zucchini. It's got good stuff in it, but we'll go over the rest of it. There are some small, so it's got a bikini bottom, which is that same brand earlier. Um, This is a size 38B Zella sports bra. Oh my god. I, it, this this powder is fire. It's like as good as what we bought in Ocean Rack. Yeah, this is really mother. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, it's not. It's <laughs> a heart attack. I thought they were including like mother jeans in this, which is really expensive for $10. It's a sanctuary top, camo. It's cute. Um, it's crazy. This is a $29 yellow lemonade BP brass plum. What's it called when it's only one shoulder? One shoulder. Is it called one shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> is it really called one shoulder? Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, wait. What's the difference between one shoulder and cold shoulder? Uh, cold shoulder is just a hole like this, but cold you still have a sleeve. Wow. Really <laughs> oh, someone says singlet. Singlet. Okay. Wait. What? Have you guys heard singlet? I haven't, but this is kind of cool. It's like a waxy. Oh. Yeah. BP. Holographic. Uh, oh. It's like rainbowy. Yeah, oh, hollow. This is true. Whoa! Yeah, so yeah, this is pretty. This is wild. But okay, so 
How should I do this lady's stuff? She has 7,700 items. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, the stuff in the other side. It's all one big show. 24 <laughs> 7. Okay. Oh, my staff's fire. We want to go home. Okay. So this is $98 MSRP. This is the brand Max Studio. Max Studio. So this is like a. It's sweater material, but it's sh it's like a half sleeve. What's it called when it has this? What's this called? There's some ruching. I don't know. What is this? Cozy? <laughs> is it called a cozy? It just looks cozy. Oh, it looks cozy. <laughs> Why do you spell cozy with cozy C O Z I E? Oh. Okay, ruch I know. Yeah, this is ruching. Okay, cool. So, would you say it's a ruch half sleeve? This is another bra. It's the brand. Okay, I do think this is probably a win. Um, it's the brand Natori, N-A-T-O-R-I. I think it's very expensive. It says $68 MSRP. It's a little bra. Win? I think 32D is the size. Hmm. 32D. Most bras case. are expensive. It's good. Try it on. Told you guys. After reseller after dark. Only fans. Okay. This is a Nordstrom rack te uh, top, size three X. This is um, probably not worth ten dollars, but it is new and it is size three X. And from my from my experience, size three X sells really well. So this is. I can't believe I gave you guys such a steal. I don't know if it has anything to do with me. So maybe if you guys order from the same place, you don't get the same stuff. This is the brand Marina. What do you guys think? Marina? You guys trying to show? Sorry, it's such a mess up. Do you have more? Yeah, I do. They're right here. Can we get it without falling on you? This, this, is, this is ridiculous. Free people, MSRP $60. Although, wait, how is this $60? Tube top? It's free people, it's new, but why is it a free people tube top $60? That's wild. This, that does not make sense. It, it's really expensive. You guys can still hear me okay? I think so. Okay. This is like this is like a pro class in okay, so there was already one of these um, BP um, holographic things. So this is the first double. This is the first double that I've seen in this lot, and the MSRP is forty dollars on it. I'm not gonna open it because there's already one in this lot. So saving you the listing time. So much stuff. Zucchini done? Zucchini is almost done. This is such a mess. <laughs> Alright, this is, um, it's not even, it's like halfway done. I think it's faster to rip it open and say what it is. Oh, open edit. Okay. This is kids. Have you guys heard of this brand, Open Edit? Interesting. Interesting. Open edit. Kids brand, this is definitely an L for ten dollars. Isn't it? Yeah, Dolly Exchange, I agree. I think it's an L for ten. Also, when you guys are streaming, you should just be honest. Okay, like I'm not over promising. I know I don't know what's in these these things, and it's ended up being almost every single one has been a win. Okay. I think this brand is alright. So the MSRP seems totally unrealistic to me. This is 175, but it's the brand line. 
There's no about line? 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 Line good? <laughs> Worth it? 10 bucks? Yes? I don't know. Win? Some say to... meh, some say win. I know, right? It seems like meh some to me, say even though no. the MSRP is so high. Um, okay. Democracy top. $68 MSRP, marked down to $39. Decent for 10 bucks. I'm doing all this work. You guys, I'm letting you guys make all the money. That's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> all right, $119, this one's nice. Okay, what do you guys think so far? Is this lot worth it for $250? The brand is Rachel, Rachel Ray. Rachel, Rachel Ray, 25 pieces. Rachel, Rachel Ray. This is a, a swimsuit, right? Yeah. <laughs> that should Free be the show. thumbnail. <laughs> Free show. You guys didn't pay for that one either. It's normally, Ooh, there's the normally I charge $10 per second. On, on only <laughs> Very expensive. Oh, busy. Okay. This brand is good. So, Alex Mill. I think this brand's really good, personally. I picked this up. Right? Alex, Alex Mill. It's a win. For 10 bucks, corduroy jacket. It's a nice one. Bolo. Let's go. What is going on with the alarm? Okay, so, can you guys help me out a show? What's the show tomorrow? I'll have to make it. I want to make a show for tomorrow. That's because if you guys want, we can do tomorrow. Let's do the rest of this lady's stuff because she has. Maybe we'll do three shows of twenty five hundred because it's it's obviously a lot to go through every piece. The alarm was freaking out. Sorry, guys. Oh, you muted. Okay. So there's a few more pieces. I think this one is totally worth two fifty. Taylor Bird. Oh wait, this is a men's shirt. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, men's shirt, Taylor Bird, kind of an L for $10. It's a nice shirt, uh, probably worth only about $10 though. So just break even on this piece. Be tempted, I don't know what this is. And I don't know, your results may vary because I don't know if I get a different palette because of me. They did not pay me for the palette though. I paid full price, 5,000. Be tempted. This is probably an L. I've never heard of this brand. Be tempted. It's mm. cute. Ariel says, are we not running items on whatnot? We, we, we ran out. Yeah. So I'm trying to run items. Um, everything already sold. He's just showing sold, um, what sucks. people got. Uh, this is a Hurley beanie. Hurley is this brand. Fun fact, Hurley is owned by Nike. Yeah, we're unboxing it, but it already sold. So, um, yeah, we're just showing what people got. We're just showing what people <laughs> bought. On what night you're supposed to show people what they bought. Yeah. So this brand, I call it Bulldog, but I don't know if that's actually... I've heard Bulldog. You guys call it Bulldog? I didn't know. Uh, I just said B. Is it worth it brand new? MSRP is $39. I say this is probably an L. Hmm. Victoria, I see you. Okay, I'm going to let you guys do it. If you guys want to spam your username in the chat, please do so. Let us know if you stream or not and you want to follow for your show. Let's do it. Put your username in the chat and ask for a follow. If you're doing some shows, let you guys do some advertising. And follow Daily Refinement. <laughs> follow Daily Refinement. Okay, last piece. This is the brand SLNY, SL Fashions New York. Mr. Buys a lot says hi, Chris. Mr. Buys a lot, <laughs> we know about you. Mr. Buys a lot has three million unlisted items, bro. <laughs> Mr. Buys a lot, everybody follow him. He has three million unlisted items. We're coming out to Pennsylvania. <laughs> We're coming out to Pennsylvania. He offered it to me for a good price. So we're coming out. Three million pieces. I'm not joking. Mr. Buys a lot has three million pieces. He has a He's really good at buying. 
Okay. Um, Don, a, when he says this is an L, he's saying it's a loss, like, like win or lose. Like $10. Yeah. I would say this this lot probably conservatively MSRP around twenty five hundred. So yeah. And it, then the artist, how did it sell? If you're just now unboxing, it it sold out as soon as I started. So, so he, he sold like mystery item, like mystery you can buy items. one item, one mystery item, 10 yeah. mystery items, 25 mystery items. So people just bought like a mystery bundle yeah. and now he's showing what they, what they got. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That's ready? This is ready. That's such a pain in the ass, I'm sorry. Um, okay. All it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna fit. Anymore. What's the name, fit? Zucchini. Zucchini is a great username, by the way. <laughs> okay. J Team is asking, do you add a one dollar handling fee to everything? No. Uh, well, actually, technically, yes. So, guys, some people are wondering about profit margins since this is a Q and A for answering questions. Um, I make about one dollar per item today, which is a huge mistake, <laughs> but it's all right. Okay, so next piece. This is the brand Harper Canyon. You guys know the brand Harper Canyon? Seems like a kid's brand, size three. So my daughter probably is still too small to wear this. I'm gonna open it. We'll say good kids brand. Hmm. Cute. <laughs> so two two girls. Maybe not girls. Two tops. Um, Jessica says, "When's the gift card poll, please?" When? I don't know yet. <laughs> also, one person's getting five hundred dollar Amazon gift card, which is ridiculous. One person that bought something is going to get that for free, just for supporting today. Um, if you buy a hat, are you entered into that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so can you can buy, still you can buy, buy a hat. You can still buy a hat and get entered in to win it. Yeah, in this in the store. It's not a giveaway show. Is this for that? Yes, this is for that whole pile. Oh, one. This. This is this is ten pieces. That's ten. the username. Yep. And then all this, right? Yeah. Um, what's up, Mike? Mike was visiting me. Mike and I went to Nine Inch Nails yesterday at the Greek Theater in Berkeley, California. It was a blasty blast. Uh, that was fun. Okay, next. Tara says, Chris, who's better, Nine Inch Nails or Incubus? I like both of them. <laughs> I think Nine Inch Nails is more fun in person. Okay. This is the username. On. So, guys, if you haven't signed up on Whatnot yet on YouTube, sign up. This week I'm going to be doing more epic pulls. The, the boxes that we opened from that lady, um, there's some crazy stuff. I should throw those in because like there's some brand new Apple products. Um, there's some Tiffany and company stuff. So that, that could be even more wild than today. I have no idea. But we're going to pull one out of here. Here we go. <laughs> okay. This is a pair of... Zadig, what do you guys think? Worth it? 10 bucks? 10 bucks? How do I handle the taxes on consignment? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. So this is how taxes work on consignment. I write a check and I issue a 10.99. So I can write out the full expense of it. That's how it works. So this is worth 10 bucks, you guys say? Oh, what size? Size 30. Size 30. Yes, it is. You can buy a hat and it's included in. I hope that it goes to, um, oh, it's crazy because it's sold, right? You don't even have to wait. <laughs> I know, it's so wild. Um, okay. Bearded PokeTuber has a question. Yeah, Bearded PokeTuber, what's up? Has having to switch your business away from eBay lowered the amount of profit you make every month? Um, no, but it's a lot more work. So mm -hmm. instead of 
me just taking one car to the post office, I now drive a truck to the post office, like a moving truck. So a lot of stuff, more stuff sells now, but I make about the same amount of money. Mm. Okay, next piece, field 40. Okay, field 40, this is exciting. Field 40, you win. A Maggie London dress, brand new with tags. Is this a win? It says MSRP 158, that's kind of strong. Maggie London, $10, brand new. Field 40, nice pickup. Natural Arizona and whatnot says, regarding pricing, is it better to be competitive with mm -hmm. other listings and solds or double cost of goods, add fees to move inventory on eBay? Oh, that's a great question. So can I hear the first part of the question? Again? Yeah. Regarding pricing, is it better to be competitive with other listings and solds or double the cogs, cog ad feeds, ad fees to move inventory on eBay? It's a huge mistake. A lot of resellers price double what they paid for or 10 times what they paid for, but that's not a good way to do it because some items sell for below what you paid for and other items sell for 20 times what you paid for. So it's very different. Um, very different. So price, <laughs> according to market. Sorry, I didn't answer your question. <laughs> Whoa, this is so wild. Okay. Sindium 21, appreciate you, appreciate you. I saw something I thought was cool. <laughs> this, is, this is ribbed. Why do this, they call this style ribbed? This is the brand BLL Beach Lunch Beach Lunch Lamb. It's cute. It's cute. It's like an oatmeal powder. Is this a win for 10 bucks? MSRP is not on here, but it's size small. People say win for sure. Wait, win, why? Win, why? Win. Why is this for sure? I don't know, but lots of win. <laughs> okay. Wait, it is very soft. Also, the ribbed pattern is a, it's a type of knitting. Oh, okay. It's a type of knitting. Everyone got that? Stitch. Smash the like button. Follow me on YouTube. One amazing thing about my business is I actually know very little, but everyone around <laughs> me knows a lot. So it adds up to... Yeah. I really bas I basically know nothing. Okay, I gotta ask you guys. What percentage of my success is luck? gotta be pretty high. I'd say it's pretty high, but we'll see what you guys think. Okay, here we go. Out of 100%, what percentage of my success is luck? <laughs> I'm curious what people think. I mean, I, I could take it. Okay, here we go. Next piece, $48 MSRP. Let's go. 80% luck, I like it. <laughs> I like it, I can take it. My feelings are not hurt. Okay, this brand is Halston Studio. Austin Studio. Austin Studio. You guys know? Austin Studio. Is this a win? Lose? Looks comfortable? It does look comfortable. L? Win? Mm, yeah, people saying more L's this time. More L's this time. Bri Brianna says, how long have you been reselling? Love the content, by the way. I've been reselling since full time, since 2017. Um, and I resold, my first item I resold on, on eBay was a Tupac shirt in 03. So that's 19 years ago. I sold my first item. Um, I sold a lot of sneakers. Recently I sold clothing. I got suspended on eBay in April. That's almost six months ago. And the trending year before that was 2.7 million. And around 700K of that is clothing and 2 million of it was sneakers. Okay, here we go. Next. And also, all of the really good brands that I got in the unit next door, I probably will not be selling on whatnot. I'm probably gonna sell, send them into the real real. There's some Chanel, there's some Louis Vuitton, I saw some Fendi. I'd rather send it in there so they can make sure to authenticate it. Unless I can tell it's real, but I just wanna make sure. Okay, here we go, next piece. Okay, this is a crew neck crop sweater. Hmm. Doesn't say what brand. 
Come on. No. Elodie? I don't know this brand. I've never heard of it. Elodie. 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 Anyone know? Is it good? Not good? Bell? Wind? House brand? House brand, house good. Brand. House brand, no So they're supposed brand. to remove the, the house brand, so. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you guys had purchased this lot wholesale, the pieces would have been um, around $7 a piece. Would you be happy so far? If you bought this pallet, every single piece was seven. The good and the bad. What do you think? No, 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 no. Not so far, yes. Maybe you guys weren't here in the beginning. All right. Here we go. Next piece is for Billy Bella. One, one. Yep, I, bruh, I've been showing every single person. <laughs> you take your chances at the bins. I hear you, that's what I do. So in the video, my normal cost of goods is between one and four dollars, so I normally wouldn't pay seven per item. It's a little bit more risky, right? Okay, so um, this piece to Lily Bella one one is the brand Supplies, which I think is another house brand. What do you guys say? Supplies? Supplies? High risk, high reward. What do you guys think? House brand? Thumbs down? Fair enough. Okay, also question, how important is having a brand, like a uh, influence? Is that, do you need a following to sell well? Um, it's important, yes, yes, okay. Next piece. Actually, Wax Clothing Company said, what would you price that for on eBay? Which one, supplies? I guess the most recent Okay, one? question, what would you guys price this for? Brand new supplies, size eight. What would you price it for on eBay? Let's learn. Let's <laughs> learn. I'll tell you what I do after. Um, what is pricing it? Eka says, price? how long did it take you till you were making a good living reselling? Three months. Hmm. Three months before I was making a good living reselling. Um, but it's all, your results may vary because I have a sales background. So I don't know if that, I th okay, well, I guess I could ask that. How important is having a sales background? Mm -hmm. um, I would price the supplies at 15 plus shipping and I would accept an offer of anything above eight. That's for me personally, on supplies, I would do 15 plus shipping, anything over eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, next item. Three, two, one. Oh, Lily really bought 10? Did she buy 10? Yeah, she bought 10. Oh, mine's Okay, this piece, we have nine more for Lily. Good call. So, Village. Tell, tell me how ready next time. Okay. Village Store R Us. I know, right? Finally, I got it. This is a, a kid's set. I'm not going to open it. It's a kid's lot of clothing for Vintage Store R Us. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Where are the mods? I know, right? Who wants to be a mod? <laughs> if you want to be in a mod, a mod, give me an emoji and I'll make you a mod. Because honestly, there's just too many people. Lucy Thrus. A lot of people. I now know, everyone, now people. everyone is putting emojis. Yes. <laughs> ah. Please be a mod. Impossible. There's the train. All right. Hopefully, hopefully you guys want to make some people some mods. The chat's kind of crazy. Now Ken is asking, what kind of pallet was this? Liquidation, oh, overstock, so lost this freight? This pallet was overstock, new with tags, Nord Street. So Lily Bella bought 10 items. It even says 10 here for me to remember. So few more. Oh, is, is, is Jenna here? All right, let's get it. Everybody follow Empty Hanger. She's the best. She keeps me on track.
River Gold, nice. Yes, everybody follow Jenna, she's the best. Okay, nine more items. I need some help here. So, Rachel, Rachel, Roy, I think is the higher end of this lady, right? Rachel, Rachel, Roy, can you guys see? Rachel, Rachel, Roy, this is, has this, this little thing at the bottom. Nice color. It's nice. I like it. I think this is, this. what do you guys think? Is it okay buying this for 10 or is that overpaying? Those that shop at the bins don't, don't, don't say anything. <laughs> Euro chicks is overpaying, okay. Fair enough. Praetorian yeah. says, can someone sell electronics on whatnot? Yes, you can sell electronics, you can sell collectibles. This is a Nike dress, what is this? Romper. Romper. Is it a romper? Is romper shorts? Yeah, if it's shorts down there, then it's romper. It's a romper. Okay, this is new. MSRP is $65. Is this worth 10? Is it worth 10? It's a size 1X. With a Travis Scott center swoosh. Let's go. Travis Scott? No, just he, 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 Okay, what is the um, what is the Nike romper worth? What would you guys sell that? It says sixty five dollars MSRP. It's size one X, which is a good size. 25, 30, 50, 40. 30. So this is for kids. Andy and Evan. Okay. Andy and Evan. Andy and Evan is a um, kids brand. I'm not going to open it since it's it's a kids outfit. Harper Canyon. This is two tops. I've seen this before, but in a different size for kids. 40 with offers. Okay, I'm gonna mix these in because there was three of the same thing. So I'll put two different things in. I don't want anybody today to get doubles. So no, no doubles if you bought a lot. Okay, this is. $68 MSRP, Halston leggings, size large. So what would you price this at? This is at Nordstrom House brand. Wax Clothing Company says, if the most important thing is sourcing the right items, is this bulk the best way to go? No, hell no. <laughs> Do not buy bulk unless it's a little bit for fun. It's a little bit gambling. This is not the proper business strategy. If you want to buy something for fun, buy a couple of items and see if it's worth it. But like buying from a company in general is way more risky than buying yourself. If you can, if you can't go thrifting or flea market or garage sales on your own or the Goodwill bins, it's better. Some people, if you can move volume, I would say buying bulk is good, but it's not easy to move volume. Mm -hmm. Most people aren't consistent at listing, so I don't recommend buying bulk unless you, one, have a following and you can move the stuff quick, or you are set up for volume. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know this brand. Stitch Drop. Y'all help me out. Is it house? Stitch Drop. If you can move volume, then volume is good. If you cannot move volume, don't buy bulk. Wait, is this upside down? Why does it look like this? Oh, it might be a... Uh oh, oh wait, there okay, we go. Here we go. <laughs> wow, that was intense. Just. <laughs> so this, is this maxi or is this a jumpsuit? Uh, it looks Why like it, a It looks maxi. like a, a... There's an extra piece of material down here. Just for design, I guess. The pulls are random. Let's see. This MSRP is $85. The brand is Stitch Drop. I think it's a house brand. I would say it's, it's, 
Ruffle hem maxi dress. Thank you. So I saw Jenna on her stream and she's like, this is a polyester cotton blend and I was blown away and I tried to train <laughs> my staff, but it's hard. It's really hard. Okay. This is a dusty pink. It says 18M on it, which I think is a... Uh, I know she took. I know she took textiles in college, and that's why she knows. This is cute. That's cute. Very adorable. So there is some kids stuff in here. The kids' North Face earlier was sick. So I, I guess I could ask Jenna. Jenna's an influencer. Jenna, when you order from people, do you get a better lot than most people because you are who you are? I've never heard of this. This is a core. <laughs> Christy, do you have kids? I would have never guessed. So, what's it called when it's like, um, oh, you have a son. It's raised. These little dots are raised on the garment. What's this called? Would I order with them again? Wait, it's Swiss called dot. Swiss dot. Ooh. Everyone paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, wait. Oh, one more, one more. I was going to say I want to add something so people can buy something. What should we do? Lunch? It's too early for shots. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. This last piece is... Threads for Thought. Threads for Thought. Your son will be 17 months. Can Really? Because my daughter is 16 months. That's awesome. We should have a play date. <laughs> Threads for thought. I would say it's a no. I didn't even know. It's hard to keep track of everyone. When I met Kristen, she did not have a son. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, eBay princess. 25 is intense. Everybody follow Holly if you haven't already. That's true. Yeah, let's do it. Ten and we'll get the five. Two, this is two tens? Yeah. All right, eBay princess. Holly's probably not here because she's a busy lady. No, she's here. Oh, she's here? <laughs> Holly! <laughs> Pieces. Let's do this. See, Holly has a following, so she can move all this stuff. Can you guys ship this one? I think I only bought one. And the hanger? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, and the hanger. Yeah. First piece BP, brass plum, right? Size triple X. This is just a ribbed sweater. BP, brand new. MSRP is $19, so I would consider this an L. But Holly probably could break it even. Break even, and this color is, what would you say this color is? A uh, burnt. <laughs> burnt what, waffle? <laughs> burnt toast? No, burnt no, orange. it's like burnt brick. Orange. It's brick-ish. Oh, brick. Yeah, Rust. it's, it's okay. rusty. Uh, yeah. Rusty. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's burnt. <laughs> I love it. Okay, piece number two. Threads for Thoughts. We saw this one earlier. It's a tank. It is new. I'm going to leave it in here because we already saw it. Wow, there's a lot of brands I've never heard of. So this is... Oh, it's another supplies pair of jeans. Cargo jeans. Again, this is stuff I would price at fifteen dollars on eBay. Okay, we got. I've never heard of this brand. NSR. This is a cool dress. So wait, this isn't. This is not considered maxi, right? Right. Midi. Yeah, it's not a maxi. This is a nice dress. NSR is Napian Sea Road. 
Napier and Sea Road. It's nice. Nice piece. I don't know what MSRP is. It seems expensive though. This is the biggest garment of the day so far. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Okay, it's a pea coat. It's a very large pea coat. Mm. Kenneth Cole, let's go. Size large. Yeah, this is nice. So that's really nice. What is this? What do you guys ask for? 99? 79? It's a nice piece. It's a nice piece. Win on the black label. Wait, is there a difference? Black label Kenneth Cole, is that a thing? You guys know? 100 bucks? Nice hit, Paula. Nice. So we're having euros for lunch if you guys want to chip in. <laughs> you can buy something and be entered in to win the $500 challenge. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Crew neck crop sweater. Like, this is the brand Elodie, which I think is a um, house brand. I don't know much about it. It's a crop sweater. Cute. This is the Harper set of um, tops, t-shirts. Holly has a little one too, this is size three. This is MSRP $68, let's see what this is. Austin Studio Leggings Medium. Do they need to be there for the drawing? No, you okay. do not need to be here for the drawing. Watching YouTube videos to see who wins. Yep, watching YouTube <laughs> video to see who wins. If you don't have time, you can just watch YouTube videos. Yeah, just scroll to the end of the YouTube video online and you'll be able to know. Okay. So this brand I do see and it does look expensive. Sasina? Sasina? L? Sheena says L. MSRP says $19, which I would say would be an L. Wow. Sad L. Hmm. Sad, what, sad L? Oh, they're just saying sad and then L. Oh, sad <laughs> and then L. So that brand looks expensive, but it's an L, so. Wow, this is Lo fun. Lovely Nikki says, wasn't this supposed to not have house brands? It was not supposed to have house brands, so I'll hmm. be letting them know. This is a Playboy bunny shirt by Pac Sun. I didn't know Pac Sun liquidated through Nordstrom. We already sold out, my friend. So this is a Playboy shirt. It's like interesting that it's Pac Sun. Okay. So, this is an Urban Outfitters top. It says twenty-two dollars. Is Urban Outfitters um, is Urban Outfitters part of Nordstrom Rack? Like, do they liquidate through Nordstrom Rack? I don't think so either. But there has been some uh, there has been some um, Nordstrom Rack in this lot. Or, I'm sorry, not not um, Urban Out Urban Outfitters is what I mean. There's been some Urban Outfitters. Allison says, can you let us know where, where we are in line? I hate to leave and then you show. I think you can go to the Souls and he's yeah, going in order. it's going to take a while. Maybe, um, there's no way for me to tell you, sorry. <laughs> too, you you got to go on the YouTube and scroll through. Um, but we're shipping, so don't worry. We're going to ship what, what you bought. So 90 degrees also. I guess, is, I think this is a Nordstrom house brand. 90 degrees. I just want to check pair of shorts. They are cute, but it's not a good brand. It's a house brand. Thank you, Holly. Okay, so we've got... And again, I wonder if the lot was staged. So Lulu's is a good brand. Lulu's. 
This is a size small leopard print sweater. What's this worth, guys? It's cozy, it's very soft, leopard print. The brand is Lulu, size small. Mm-hmm. What would you guys price this up? 30, 12, 75, I don't think so. That's kind of strong. 20 bucks, 30 to 35. Okay, here we go. This brand is Papa Two. It's a kid's brand, so I'm not gonna open it. It's a kid's outfit. 20 lowest. This is, this looks a little bit more expensive. The brand is Strivers Row. Do you guys know this one? We, been, we ran all of them already. They sold. Sorry, Brody. What does that say? Relentless, I think. Relentless? Yeah, several times. Relentless. Okay. <clears throat> this is a Jessica Simpson set of bikini bottoms. I'm not gonna open it, but because they're they're sealed really nicely. Jessica Simpson bikini bottoms. This is a double, so I'll get something else. This is the champion sports bra that we saw earlier, also an L. This is a double. <clears throat> this is so interesting. Because a lot of these brands, right, if you were not an expert and you didn't know keywords, you couldn't sell it. Like, this is a really nice black knit dress, but I don't know the brand. Appreciate you guys. Do you guys know this brand? It seems like Nordstrom House. It says thirty-seven dollars MSRP. So without keywords, you could not sell this because this is not really a household brand. This is another double. Wow. There is a, there is a good amount of doubles. Do they sell free people at Nordstrom? They sell free people everywhere. You saw the Macy's. They do? Okay. This is the brand Elodie. That's a, that's a deep crop. <laughs> deep crop. Let's see. And the brand Elodie is probably house. All new stuff. If I were going to wear a crop top, I think this would be a good length for me. <laughs> Perfect length. I think so. Personally. <laughs> right? Okay, right. next. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, you're right. When I wear a crop. <laughs> You're right. Who am I kidding? You guys already know. Cloth by design. This is a... It's kind of like a cardigan, but it doesn't have an opening. So it's got, it's got the comfortable pockets. Mm -hmm. But there's no opening. So what's this called? Is it a poncho? Uh, well, does it have sleeves? Yeah. Then no, uh, not poncho. Oh, wait. It has these, these like... It has sleeves though. Yeah, so it has sleeves. So it's not a poncho. Patch pockets. The brand is cloth by design. Cloth by design. Just a pullover sweater, I think. Just a pullover sweater. Okay. This it's like mostly house brands, and they said they were gonna remove the house brands. Hmm. It's like every single house brand. <laughs> Okay, so this is Nordstrom Row A. Large. Row A. Wait. This That's is the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It's a dress or a top? 
What's this style of dress called? Everyone? Help me out. <laughs> chat? What are we doing, chat? Skirt, tiered, tiered skirt, layered. Okay, tiered skirt. Still about 5% done. <laughs> you need to check. <laughs> Love stitch. Again, very difficult to sell without the, um, without keywords. Very difficult to sell. Another house brand. I'll show you guys. So this is important. When I say house brand, it's something that is a, um, essentially Nordstrom private label, right? Love stitch. You guys see this? Love stitch. This is an expensive boutique brand, but is it a good resale brand? Uh, you work at boutique and you love Stitch, okay. There's a lot of kids stuff in here. This is a robot kids outfit. I'll show you guys the robot print, I'm not gonna open it. Okay, so I'm gonna put these two back because there's too much kids in this lot and I wanna be fair. I'm trying to not include too much kids. I'm trying to be fair with what I see in the lot. This is a Fila shirt. Interesting. Fila. Hmm. It's Fila time. Okay. When is the giveaway? I'm not sure. Maybe before lunch. Abound. This is crazy. This is literally a Nordstrom house pout. Yeah. So, not cool. I will be letting them know. Wait. Should I reveal the brand? I know, it's pretty crazy. So, Abound size large. I will reveal the brand. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Because you can't give up your source without getting paid. So, how do, how do we do this? Um, Yes, that's Holly's 25. You, you, pay, you pay five extra? It's two boxes. Let me see. Ten. I think I'm gonna reveal the source because so far I don't know if I would reorder. People say the train is coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's do the giveaway. I know, right? It's been a while since the last good thing. So I wonder if I wonder if they actually um, I wonder if they so let's do the giveaway at 250 entries. At 250. Um, I wonder if they put the good stuff on top. I did not open this, and what would be the reason to put it on top if we? I can't see it anyway. It's unmanifested. So let's try and get the 250, and I'll give away this $100 gift card, and I'll decide on what I want to do next. So giveaway time. Giveaway time. Let me get this thing. Oops. Giveaway at 250. Give away at 250 people. Almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Is this a different giveaway? I thought. Are it's they entering? Giveaway. Okay. Another one. Okay. Not the. Another one. You say 269? It's 250. We're almost there. 16 more people. Let's go. And I might just reveal the source because so far it's not the best. And I didn't pay me to do it, so I just wanted to try one. It popped up. It popped up. 
Seven more, seven more. Almost there, almost there. $100 Amazon gift card. So um, we'll be sending you a daily refinement sticker. So email me. You have to be present to win and you have to follow me on YouTube and Instagram and bookmark all my shows. Do all that. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Vintage Vibe by Tammy. Are you in the chat? Vintage Vibe, congrats. Vintage Vibe, are you in the chat? Please confirm. I think, I don't know if she's here or not. We run? I think she's here. Email me at chrisatdailyrefinement.com and I'll send you a $100 Amazon gift card. We're gonna mail you a sticker. Cool? We'll move on. Let me, let me do the next giveaway. So, I'll do this. You wanna write that down? That vintage vibe? Yeah. No, well, it, it says it. Oh, yeah, yeah, going to be doing another giveaway real quick uh, or at least I set it up so I'm going to be giving away a 20 item random consignment law from the um, from the consignment that I took in of 7700 items so that way we can go over a sample of the next show but maybe I will do that tomorrow we can do that show tomorrow or maybe we'll do it at the end of the week what do you guys want to do when do you want to do it she has 7700 items for sale so I want to, um, what day is better? Tomorrow? T today. <laughs> Radio girl. It's going to take me till midnight to do this one. ASAP. Tomorrow. Wednesday. Today. You work tomorrow? Um, let's see. I need some, let me, I, I don't have a phone to look at the shows. Can you look it up a second? When the shows are this week? I'm gonna find out so we can add it to the show. Here we go. Um, let's move the maple. Okay, so tomorrow, let's do um, 20. Let's see. Those, light, those items are light. Let's do 25 item lots. 25 item lots. So tomorrow we'll do the rest of her stuff and we'll do a sample here. Let me add it in. We'll do 25. Um, tomorrow at the 10, or let's do, let's do 10. I'm gonna do the same thing. So it's gonna be faster. So um, we'll start tomorrow with We'll do a hundred boxes tomorrow of 25 items and we'll just show all of them. I know, I have help shipping, I have a team. So tomorrow, I wanna to add that. I'm gonna do a time lapse. A hundred, um, yeah. So I already looked through some of the boxes. The, the stuff is a lot different. The stuff that this lady thrifted over the last two and a half years is very different. So the stuff that she thrifted is like, there's more Patagonia, Maybe we will throw in the rest of the stuff, like the, uh, um, there's a Louis Vuitton piece, there's two Chanel pieces, there's uh, Tiffany & Co. So maybe we'll throw all that in. I, I would say that 100% the stuff this lady has is better than this lot so far. Um, okay. Really Bella. Lily Bella already bought something. 
She just bought another piece single, so I'm gonna put it in that one. Single. Okay, so Lily Bella, yeah, one more, yeah, one single. So I'm gonna throw it in. It's right here. Is it only this two boxes of eBay? Yeah. Lily Bella, this is looking like it's worth it so far. We're getting to the point in the lot where it looks like there's a lot of duplicates. Okay, so this must be a house brand. Anybody know this? S13 New York? It's a puffer coat. I don't know this brand. Is it a W? Big money? It's not a house brand. Ooh. Okay, nice pickup. So, I don't know. So far, I'm a little bit torn. Some of the stuff in here is really good, some is not. Some people are saying it's a bolo. So those of you on YouTube, we haven't, if you have any questions on YouTube, S13. Thank you, Mike. Okay, so her items. Uh, it's been pretty quiet. Really yeah. Those are all, all 11 her items, both, both, both purchases. Okay. I almost think the most fair way to do this would be to somehow separate it because there are some there are some there are some doubles. My YouTube channel is Daily Refinement. Thank you, thank you. MSRP is around 150 to 240. Nice pickup. Okay. Okay, we're going Tate Sells next. I'm gonna pick. This is interesting. So this is Adidas, size 3X. Okay, this is wild because the, the bag says Halston. Inside, inside the Halston bag is Adidas. So, it's pretty wild. $40, what would you guys price that at? It's 10, it's kind of a crayon. Not cranberry, what color is it? Maroon. Oh, maroon. Maroon, 25, okay. Paint sales, that's not terrible. really interesting. Dapper Chic next. Fuchsia. Plum. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Thank you. I went last night. I just nailed the sick. Okay, here we go. This is Gabby and Sky. Gabby and Sky dress, size 14. Would you guys consider size 14 plus size or not? Not, yes. It doesn't say the MSRP. Average size. I don't know if that's a win or not. For ten dollars, tapper sheet, tapper sheet. Nick, let's go. Where did I add the 25 random lots? I put them in the buy now. 
So we've seen this already. It's an LED, E-L-O-D-I-E. -E. That's the LED logo. House brand. It's a blouse for Uncle Nick. And the second piece is a Vince Camuto pair of jeans. Vince Camuto pair of jeans, brand new, size 27 or size 4. So Uncle Nick, two pieces, LED and... Whoa, holy shit, that's a lot of work. These are all the orders, guys. I know, it's sold out. It's sold out. All the orders sold out. So now there's like a lot of stuff to do. Jason, appreciate it. Jason, I hope you got all your jeans. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. So, okay, let me ask you guys. Do you think it's fair? All the items today ended up being an average of $10 for shoppers. Some items were good. Some items were not good. Is it fair or unfair? Do you think I could have charged more or not charged more? The items tomorrow are better because she thrifted every single item. The items tomorrow, she thrifted every single item, so the items are, are there's a much larger range. Tomorrow there's Eileen Fisher, there's Patagonia. Um, I don't know if it's fair or not. Like, if I had charged 20, I would consider that unfair. I don't think I can charge less than 10, not for new. Um, we're gonna add it into the buy now in just a second. Tomorrow we'll do it. I think 10 is fair. You can't tax people too much because then it's unfair and it ruins your rating. Okay. Shana Ray, appreciate you. Let's go. Shana Ray, this is the brand Caslin. It says MSRP $49 at Nordstrom, house brand. So that's good to know that that's a house brand. All these items will ship out today. So this is interesting, right? Pala came in, unbox everything, sell everything. It's pretty interesting. Uh, $10 new with tags of steel compared to Goodwill. What do you guys think? It's purple. It's a, li a lilac color. Lilac color. Okay. You guys have a 10 pack for me? Yeah. Thank you. Check NYC deal. 10 pieces coming up. Chicken side NYC here. 25 times um, 100. Yeah, tomorrow we'll do a Can you add that? Time lapse I want to do 100 lots at 250. Or, I don't know, Victor, can you help me figure out the math? I want to, tomorrow I want to sell 2,500 items. 2,500? And I want to do lots of 25 because it'll be 20 pounds per box. Yeah, that's good. What, these items? These items. You saw them, right? You make a show, right? I'm, well, um, I see you already made a show, but I want to split it up because today I did singles, tens, and twenty-five. What do you guys think? Same thing, singles, ten, and twenty-five, or do you want a different mix? Today we did a hundred singles, we did boxes of twenty-five, and we did boxes of ten. Same, okay, same. So boxes or singles, box of ten and box of twenty-five. Yeah. I want to do twenty-five hundred items tomorrow, so it's going to be. It's gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna run the giveaway in just a second because I need to make it. I wanna give a sample of what the show is gonna to be tomorrow. So without more Without more ado, let's do the bucks. First piece. Let's see what we got. Jumpsuit. Upside down? Upside down. <laughs> City chic. Jumpsuit. Whoa. 
size 20W. So 20W is definitely plus size, right? 20W, everyone? That's piece number one. Wow, that's a nice pickup. So this one, piece number two, brand new Joe's jeans, size 28. That's nice. That's a nice win. Brand new Joe's jeans for 10 bucks. Skinny 26 inch crop. Nice pickup. Next piece. This is really cute. Probably not worth 10 bucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> Actually, it's really cute. <laughs> the Santa onesie. Let's go. Oh, toy call. Thank you. One second, guys. 40,000 a week, which is a lot. So I don't really know how to do that. So I'm trying to level up, level up. Do you get, those of you that sell and whatnot, what is your goal for selling? My, the goal they set for me is 40,000 a week, which is a lot. This is a brass plum um, uh, blouse that we already showed earlier today. Open edit, this is a kid's brand. Wait. Cute, cute case resale, what'd you say? Oh, you lost the YouTube live. I think it's back. Your goal is 100 a show, one to two show a week, 1K a week. Okay. Next is... This looks expensive. Uh... The brand is Alexia Amor. You guys know this brand? Alexia Amor. Is it? I've had 700 people on the show before. So this one's all right, but I've had 700 before in the show. Uh, this is good? It does decent? Okay. All right, here we go. This is a brand Oliver and Rain. It's a kid's brand. I'm not going to open the kid's stuff. This is that shirt that we saw earlier with the, was it Respect? What did it say? Relentless. Oh, Relentless. The Relentless t-shirt. Oh, this is the brand. Strivers Row. Strivers Row. A hundred people in one show. Yeah, no, no, $40,000 is the goal. What that has set for me. So that's a lot because I've got to do 6,000 a day in order to hit the goal they set for me, which is a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay. This is interesting. 6,000 a month? Okay, 6,000 a month is a little more low key. Okay, brass plum, would you guys consider this, this isn't tie dye, is it? Uh, yeah, it looks tight. Yes, there is a performance performance goal. This is the brand Brass Plum, size one X, which is great, great size. Okay. I don't know much about this brand. You guys tell me. Ghost, London. Size large. Ghost, London. Chick NYC deals. Yes. Everybody follow. Katie, we had a, um, a we have a brand new with tags uh, palette from Nordstrom, which they told me they removed the house brands, but it's been like 90% house brands so far. That's one of the reasons why I set it at $10 per item because I wasn't sure what the value would be. So, Got them? yeah, this is done. Mm -hmm. And and that's that person. Uh, no, um, Chick. Chick, Chick, okay. Chick NYC. So we're gonna fold it nicely and get that out to you right now. Thank you. Wait, who sits on the throne of lies? No Daytona, I wish it was a Daytona. I'm not at that level. Not Daytona. Daytona has three chronographs. This is two. Okay, next. 
All right, here we go. Let's see, wait. It was supposed to be no Nordstrom. I will reveal the source. Of feel, I feel like I should let you guys know the source. Um, let's do this. How do I reveal the source tastefully? <laughs> um, I will tell them I'm mad at them, but I will reveal, reveal. What do you guys think? Who do you think the source is? I know that buying directly from Nordstrom requires a seven-figure contract. Quick lot, it's not quick lots. Yeah, a lot of people know. How do you guys know? People know. People know. Jamie's asking, what happens if you don't reach your whatnot goal? Nothing. <laughs> it's just, they set a performance bonus for me, and they're going to give me a bonus if I hit it. So my goal is to try to do that. Um, the lot is okay. Okay, guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rank the lot so far? If you bought this wholesale, you would have paid $7 a piece. On a scale of 1 to 10, 5, 6, 7 out of 10, 5, 6, 4 out of 10, 2 out of 10. <laughs> that, is, that is hard. I don't think it's a 2 out of 10. There was some good stuff. There was some good stuff. Okay. Sorry. Back to work. Okay. Let's go. 3, 2, what do I rate it so far? 6 so far. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Six so far. Okay, this is a Nike pair of shorts. So it is new. Size small. Nike shorts. They are cute. Uh, MSRP, wow, it's freaking $50. Just do it. That's expensive. That is expensive. K K re K register. K register. K register. K register probably. Oh no, this one is weird. Oh. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, can you send, send both? Yeah, I send both. Yeah, cool. Um, so they actually, there actually was a White House black market returned to Nordstrom, right? Maybe we should film this. Should we? Like do a, oh, yeah. right, I'm gonna, I'll talk about it in a second and we'll film it because it's, a, it's an interesting tidbit. Okay. This one's good. Okay. R.B. Harrison, let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, this, I think, this is, this is a lot of trash, man. Okay, this is a bralette. Wait, what's the difference between a bra and a bralette? It's not quick lots. The pallet was 5,000. Wish list. This is a bralette, I think. Uh, you're following as many people as you can. Nice. Okay. I'll tell you guys what happened in just a second and what we're doing to fix it. Okay. So I have a question here. So people say that this brand supplies is by Union Bay. What does that mean? Is Union Bay one of Nordstrom's house brands or is it a separate one? Wait, Fisher finds I missed it. So this is the brand supplies by Union Bay. Separate, separate brand. Okay, interesting. So. I'm getting ready. That was two bijou. Okay, so. So this is interesting. We actually had a White House Black Market. Is that the brand? White House Black Market is the brand. They don't sell that at Nordstrom. So even though this is a pallet of Newa Tags Nordstrom, somebody returned a Black House, a White House Black Market pair of shorts that was used. Nordstrom accepted the return 
and they put the label on it and they put it in the in the, in the um, palette. So interestingly enough, a lot of times inside of this is not the same thing as what it says on top. So they're just taking returns back from good customers whether or not it's actually legit. So I think it's interesting. They have a really good return policy. So people are coming back and doing it. So it's, it is interesting. Okay. So I was doing the math and in order for me to hit this goal, I need to sell a pallet a day. So I was just trying to figure out if we could do it. Okay, this brand is called, this is for um, Miss Cube, Miss Cube Lick. Wait, this for YouTube too. Oh, for YouTube. Miss Cube. You guys got it? There we go. Miss Cube Lick. Um, I'm doing the giveaway prob, I'm not sure yet. This case, Sundry is the brand, you guys know, house brand or not? Miss Cubilic. Miss Cubilic. No, I haven't confirmed who it's from yet. You're saying I should request, wait, this is a good brand or no? Yes, like it, Sundry is good? Okay, so, Miss Cubilic. Cube, Cubilic? <laughs> so, okay, what's this style called? I like this. This is actually, it's pretty cool. I I, I, I probably wouldn't rock this, but I do like it. <laughs> um, it's comfy. Miss Kubelik. Retail 158. Let's go. Realist versus sell similar. Sell similar. All day, every day. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So I wonder if we added it in. Or, well, anyway, just bookmark the show for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to run 2,500 pieces. Today only 750. I believe tomorrow the items are better. She thrifted it. She did an okay job. I wouldn't say she's like the best thrifter ever, but she did thrift better items than this. All right, here we go. Wow, this is ridiculous. I'm also gonna do Pokemon at night. <laughs> Picky Freeman! New York, size extra large. That's a great brand. Really, really good men's brand. Picky Freeman goes to ZZZ, viral ZZZ. Nice pickup. Picky Freeman is a great brand. These all sold in the buy now as soon as I posted them. But tomorrow we're gonna do the same thing and bookmark that show and we'll try to sell it out tomorrow. The stuff tomorrow is better. Picky Freeman, let's go. Okay. Good? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. This. This I have to include in the lot. Uh, okay, let's do this. For the singles, right? I'm going to do only. Um, I'm only going to do. Adult, because it's like, yeah. For the singles, I'll only do a little adult. Starting, starting now. Okay, here we go. All right. This is for Style Maven, Style underscore Maven. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is the brand Black Halo. You guys know this brand? Black Halo? YouTube? What not? Is it a good one? Does okay? Made in LA? It says $345 MSRP. That's kind of a lot. Somebody help out the confused people in the chat, please. So tomorrow we're gonna do the show again, and it will be less confusing, I promise. Style maybe, I think this is a win for $10. Sells at, sells at Saks as well. Okay. Yeah, we're about 10% done. Sea Buster 2005, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 
Interesting. I don't know this brand. He's, he's already sold, so you're required by whatnot to show what you sold, so. Brittany Cools. Do you guys know this brand? It's probably a house brand. Brittany Cools. See Busta 2005. Let's go. Lotion my hands? No, unfortunately. That's why they're so crackly. Sorry. I know I should get. A, I really should get a pedicure for this job because I. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know you have to look at my fingers. Okay. This is for BMB Johnson. I'm gonna hide my cuticles because I'm I'm uh, self-conscious now. <laughs> I guess I will put some lotion on. If you guys sell a lot of clothing, um, your hands will get really dry because the. Um, Oh, manicure is what I meant. What did I say? Did you say pedicure? Pedicure, I think. Oh. Oh, I said petty. Um, I'm down to get both. <laughs> what state are you guys in? Maybe we'll do that. Daily refinement pedicure. H Manny Petty. Massachusetts, Washington. Holy crap, I can't read that. <laughs> it's from... <laughs> that was wild. Okay. I said pedicure, but I meant manicure. Florida. Wow, Germany. Okay. If you guys sell a lot of clothing, the clothing will pull the moisture out of your hands. Okay. First piece. Very soft. Ooh. Okay. Mm, this is nice. Oh, shit. This is like a super soft cardigan? Yeah, it's so okay. Actually, this one doesn't have buttons. What did? I Wait, no what buttons is something different. Come, brand is RDI or RDI. House brand. Wait, this is um, a cardigan, but there's no buttons. Somebody said it was garbage. <laughs> that's rough. Okay, that's piece number one. Piece number two. It's a cardigan without. Bu oh, it's a cardigan without buttons. What's it called with buttons? Sweater? Sovereign Code Girls Sweater? <laughs> That's quite dramatic. Open front cardigan is what it's called. Mm -hmm. How do I invest my money inflation safe? I don't think we're safe from inflation. I think you just have to make as much money as possible. I don't know. Um, My hands are too smooth. Okay. Next piece is Lulu's. This is a, um, wait, bodysuit? Yeah. Right? Uh, Lulu's up for the night cham champagne velvet. I will be trying stuff on like this. We start after dark, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. My, yeah. It's $10 a second. This is a kid's um, outfit. Holy crap, that is expensive. Have you guys heard of the brand Peak? Oh. <laughs> Peak? Have you guys seen this, Peak? Peak is ridiculously expensive. I know, right? This is the wrong platform for that. Um, I'm not really swearing, but because this is a family friendly show. Peak is so freaking expensive. $52 for a kid's outfit. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, next. That's expensive. Thank you guys for sending my daughter stuff. That is very nice of you. And she has more clothes than she can ever wear. Okay, 
This is the brand Love by Design. That's a terrible name. Size extra large is nice. From nothing, what's up? This is a maxi dress, right? Let's go. It's a formal, formal dress. Yeah, oh, formal dress. Oh, it's maxi, but yeah, it looks like it's formal. Formal maxi dress. From nothing, I need to learn how to sell stuff like you, bro. You get top dollar. I'm here giving away stuff for $10. $50? This is from a palette. I know, right? Um, I'm like a $10 guy. From nothing, like a $200 guy. His stuff goes for... Girls pants, the brand is Miles. Miles baby. Tree Love is asking, can someone fill us in on as to what is happening right now? Yes, there's no admins on YouTube, so this might be difficult for them to know what's happening. So, okay, this is too much kids stuff, so I'm gonna replace <laughs> it with three, four. He's opening up a palette right now. People have already bought mystery bought bundles already. of so it. So I'm gonna add five adult pieces because this lot already has too much kids. This is free people, brand new, free people blouse. What is this called? Where the front's like this, mm. like this. What's up? So free people MSRP is $50. We're calling it uh, crochet, embroidered, eyelet, cutouts. So this is worth it for 10 bucks, right? Next. Manny Petty. Manny Petty Resar Hangout. Let's go. Resar Cruise. Sweet Romeo is a hoodie. This is very soft. This is a cute sweater. $29.99. Classic. You need a Manny Petty? I know. We're on camera, bro. Phoebe, buy hats. Phoebe, nice. Phoebe, we missed you. Tomorrow, we'll have, we'll have cool lots. Okay. West Kai. So this is an open front cardigan. I learned. This is an open front cardigan. There's no buttons. Let's go. That's a nice piece. Floral. Open front cardigan. I learned something. I know very little. I know very little. All right, here we go. Adriana Papel, we saw this earlier, this blouse. Last piece in this lot. Double zero. Whoa, I've never seen this before. What the hell is a spicy smoke? <laughs> Man, what is that? What does that mean? What's a spicy small? The cardigan is a duster? Don't tell me that. <laughs> What's a spicy small, bro? I don't know. What does that mean? How can you not... It, this is my first day. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. It's my first day. Please bear with me. It'll look nice, everyone. <laughs> that is for BMB Johnson. Let's go. Open front cardigan is called a duster. Everyone? Yes. Yo, I thought uh, only if it's long. It's going to be on the test. Wait, oh, long. Because it like dust, like it's on. I thought that's what a duster is. People are saying duster is because it's long. Please, everyone <laughs> chime in. Gotta be long. How long is long? Like maxi long? Maxi, maxi, maxi. Thrift Mom, he actually already sold it on sold Whatnot it right already. now. Um, Uncle Max. People bought blind, like, mystery boxes of 
or mystery items from from this palette. So yeah, if you want to follow me on whatnot, the code is on YouTube. Yeah. Whatnot.com slash invite slash daily refinement. You get ten dollars towards your your purchase. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you can buy an item for free. Also, I'm running my shoes finally because the whatnot contract came in. So this Friday the show is gonna be wild. Here's the price. You guys ready? Um, four tickets to Disneyland, okay? Or um thousand dollar Amazon gift card. Or I'll fly you in here and you can watch the show. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can show you how to list 100 items a day on any platform. So eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatnot, 100. I'll fly you in here. You can stay in a hotel. Come here for a day. I'll show you how to do it. Or if you don't care about that, you want to go to Disneyland, <laughs> four tickets. <laughs> so on, uh, on Friday, I'm selling the rest of my shoe collection because I don't care about shoes anymore. I want to put all that money into my daughter's 528. Is that right? The, uh, whatever the, what is that account called? College account. We super funded it. So you can put five years, five, five, is it 520? 528? Okay, so we super funded it. We put five years in first, my daughter's one. So she now has 17 years to earn interest on that money. 529. 529. 529, okay, so I already super funded it, but I wanna put the, I wanna put the shoe money into there and then maybe we'll super fund it again next year. I think, I don't remember how many years you can do it, but essentially if you put five years in at one time, it has more time to earn interest. So at this point, dad life, I don't care anymore about swag. All the money's going to her. So anyway, super duper funded. Let's go. Yes, I'm showing all the pieces. That's why it's taking forever. <laughs> USEF 24140. All right, here we go. Two pieces. We'll go this piece. <laughs> oh my goodness you hit the jackpot okay i don't know what this is it's like a swimsuit bottom oh swimsuit bottom <laughs> this i do know what this is this is a swimsuit bottom rachel by rachel roy somebody explain to me the difference between rachel roy and rachel roy rachel by rachel roy versus rachel roy tell me i told you i'm trying it on late night i gotta actually get that handle <laughs> hopefully, hopefully people haven't taken reseller after dark on only fans because that's where i want so i want reseller only fans reseller after dark okay so first piece was the rachel by rachel roy swimsuit bottom this is the second piece so the biggest piece earlier was ebay princess got the kenneth cole pico right that's nice. this looks better yeah wow okay oh it's kenneth cole again hmm. So it looks like there's a couple of these Kenneth Cole jackets in here. Let's go. So I don't know if the black label is more valuable or not. Size small. This is very soft. Very nice. I like it. What do you guys think? Good? Nice. Good? So for, t for 20 bucks, she got the coat and the swimsuit bottom. Not bad. Not bad. It has tags? Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. All right, you guys guess. What is the MSRP on this jacket? Kenneth Cole, what is the MSRP on this jacket? 255, 230, 199, 249, 675. That's spicy. Okay. So it's kind of a trick question because there is no price tag on it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, it seems like a lot. It's really heavy. I would say this is about three pounds, and it's it is um, made out of wool. Let's go, wool. Let's go. Okay, I'm done hyping that item. <laughs> I'm over it. Everything ships today. All right, Mr. H. Let's go, Mr. H. Sheesh. I licked it. It was bland. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. Nope, this is kids. All right, here we go. Mr. H, let's go. I think I've seen this before. Sweet Romeo hoodie, ribbed hoodie. 
This is interesting. It's vertical ribbing, right? Mm -hmm. Vertical ribbing, sweet tomatoes. By sweet tomatoes, I mean sweet, sweet Romeo. <laughs> sweet tomatoes. <laughs> the sweet tomatoes hoodie. <laughs> Let's go. All you can eat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next is Santa Fan bought 10 items. I am hungry. I'm going to send Victor to get us euros in just a second. Let me go get some money. <laughs> We're going to do a different giveaway. Let's go. Different giveaway. You guys ready? We're gonna do a different giveaway real quick while I go to my car. Gotta be at least a hundred people. Okay. Oh wow, it's 100 people. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. No, no. We. I wanted to do another giveaway before the giveaway. Y'all ready? That's <laughs> $20. Gotta have 100 entries. Let's go. $20 bill. $20 bill. I'll fold it in half for free. <laughs> you guys ready? Let's go. Gotta be a hundred entries. Okay, here we go. Three, wait. <laughs> Hold it in force. No charge. Extra. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. $20 bill giveaway. Let's do it. You gotta confirm? No? They gotta confirm. You gotta confirm. Must be here to win. Must be here to win. Congrats to myself, Melina. Appreciate you, appreciate you. It was in my car, that's why I wanted to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, people are like, how do you come up with your giveaways? It's literally it's stuff just... around me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Are you there? Let's see. Put a heart emoji. I think she's here, put a heart emoji. Put a heart emoji, nobody putting heart. Other people will put heart emojis and pretend to be here. No, I know she's here, she's, she's good. good. She's oh, there. there. She's I am okay. in window right. take that. Twenty dollar bill folded in, in in ports. Ship it right now. We'll ship, we'll ship it right now. Snap. <laughs> ship it right now. Okay. So money's going out the door. Um. Yeah. Good work. Okay. We'll pin the next good one. All right. People bought a lunch. Yeah. So much work to do. <laughs> Seriously. Senate fam. Ten items. That's what. Okay. Well, I will tell you, I will tell you for sure, there are better items in here. So it's not, all the good items weren't just on top. All right, 10 items for... Cinefam, Cinefam. So everybody on YouTube, please sign up using my code. Come buy something tomorrow. All right, well, Cinefam. myself bought a 25 lot and then she Nice. So we're gonna send a twenty bucks separately. Okay, we're gonna send a twenty bucks separately. Just a little bit. So. 
Wait, what's 5,000? Oh, that's how much the lot was. Mm -hmm. We bought this pallet for $5,000. So let me ask you guys, we're gonna run to 10 real quick. Let me just display this for some before I keep talking. The brand is Therese. You guys know about this brand? Therese MSRP is $95. It's probably a house, house brand. It's got some stars on it. Um, okay, so question. Yeah, shipping shipping can be expensive on the pallet. Um, so, 10 items in this. I wanted to ask you guys, if you spent five grand on a pallet, but you were gonna sell it in one day, like me, what would you expect as the return? Spend five grand, get your money back, but you can sell it all in one day. Yeah, clearance is 15. What would you guys expect as a return if you spent five grand? For a one day return. Piece number two is, or I guess, are people on YouTube commenting too? Not really. How come we lost all the YouTube people? It sucks. <laughs> so this is another kid's outfit. Two of them, I guess. Um, two. This is another kid's outfit. So if you buy a lot, there will be mostly adults in it. And if you buy a single, it will be an adult. Okay, this is the brand Abound. Abound is definitely their house brand. YouTube people came over, okay. 2,500 for one day. Man, y'all are greedy. Like you spend five, you want 2,500 in one day? <laughs> they want your shirt. Oh, <laughs> so that's what shirt. YouTube people want. <laughs> like we are commenting, we want your shirt. <laughs> I tr are trying to get more than one shirt and they, they were like, are you a reseller? No, <laughs> they didn't say that. But, you know, it was too hard, the line was too long. Plus you have to carry it with you. 5,000 to make 500 in one day. Okay, next. Pace I think this is free people. I think this is free people. Nope, this is Il Elodi. This is the crop top that I like. <laughs> we saw it, we saw it earlier. $500, not worth it. Um, this is an Adidas. We saw this earlier, the Adidas blouse that people were gonna price at $25. I'm not gonna open it because we already showed it. This is Andy and Ivan. It's a cute plaid dress for girls. Oh, this is that Nike romper. So we got another Nike romper. This one was, I'm gonna open it for the people who didn't see it earlier. This is sick. So the Nike romper with the center swoosh. It's a nice piece, MSRP. I can't believe it's only $65. Kai says ten dollars to see Chris try on the crop top. I know, right? It's not just, bro. <laughs> I don't put on crop tops for ten dollars. Do you, <laughs> yeah, do you even know me? Let's see. Okay, another kid. So one more kid's outfit, and this is. I will not try a crop top on for ten dollars. 1001 is getting warmer. Wait, okay, we like sundry, right? Sundry, we like sundry. Okay. Is this considered tie dye? What, what is this color? Yes. 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 Okay. Guys on YouTube, on on YouTube, on YouTube, on YouTube <laughs> is this informational? Yeah, are people are saying they're learning brands. Are you learning? If you're learning brands, I'm brands. good to go. Oh, your, your phone's about to die. Okay, let's charge it. <laughs> Do we have um, another charger? We can get a charger. Let's see. Over there, maybe? Can I borrow your charger? You want a long one? No, that one's good. Oh, 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 that, that oh it's for your phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. I might have to move my phone. This isn't, isn't long enough, but it's oh. the one for. Can you move it here? Sure. This is a little more intimate, you two. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, can I reach? Yep. Yep. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. 
eBay will never be dead. I agree with you. This loading some stuff in your car. Perfect. We have space. Sounds good. My car has stuff in it, but if it fits, it ships. Okay. Ginger Bear says, if you bought for 5,000K, what do you expect to make in one day? Okay. So I'm not as greedy as everybody in the chat. I'm good with 20%. Um, 20%. So, and my 20% is, I don't know how to explain. It's like, um, I guess 20% return on my investment is, is fine. I'm okay with that. If I wanted to sell on eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari, I would expect to double my money. I would try to get 5K back. But on YouTube, I'm sorry, on whatnot, I don't, I don't, I think it would be too much. Like. I'm, right now, I'm charging $10 per item, do you, and I think that most people think it's fair, right? If I were to charge $20 per item, then I would make an extra $7,500 profit. But if you pay $20, that one's ready to go. And it's this one. Um, if you pay $20 for these, I think you would be mad. Okay, how many people would be mad if you pay $20 on average for this stuff? I think it's too much. That's too high. But I don't think 10 is too high. Um, yeah, see? 10 is too high. Or, sorry, 20 is too high. But I think 5 is too low. Um, wow, there's a lot of freaking chat. I can't, I can't read it. Okay, back to work. Eddie Betham. You ready? Gotta be adult. Eddie Bethan, let's go. I've never heard of this brand. Thread for Thought. Thread for Thought, is this a house brand? 750 pieces in the Gaylord for five grand. Threads for Thought. Threads for Thought. Okay, size extra large. What do y'all think? Extra large. Sell at Whole Foods. What? In the parking lot? Whole paycheck. Okay, so that's your. This is your win. I don't know if it's a house brand. What, I don't know. Why? What would I sell in Whole Foods? I missed it. Okay, next. Deb Myers. Deb Myers. You there? Deb Myers. Oh, Whole Foods sells clothes. That's true. That is true. I bet this is expensive. I bet this is expensive. Okay, guys, see this brand? Rebecca Taylor on YouTube? I bet it's expensive. What do you guys think? I bet it's very expensive. Okay, I can. T I mean, I think I can tell because the material is ridiculously thick. Um, and, okay, let's guess. This is just a blouse, right? Is this considered a blouse even though it doesn't have pockets? Yes? Still a blouse? Okay. So, let's guess the MSRP. Deb, you came up for $10. It's 10. The MSRP is $250. So, that's a nice pickup. For $10, Deb got $250. Let's go. $250. Oh, wait. It's going to be too much. I'll give it to you. Um, another thing is that a lot of times these expensive brands have this, like, corded price tag. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's corded. So um, it is $250. Can you guys see that? A little lower. Lower? $250. Can you guys see? $250. Pretty expensive. So... It is what it is. All right. Oh my goodness. So we're almost done, guys. <laughs> so this is all the people who are waiting for an order. We're, we're, we're almost, we're almost there. This is like the DMV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a while to go. 
I was trying to be done by 12, but like, I don't think, I don't, we're not even halfway done. Um, we were going to try and do another show tonight, but that would be too wild. So let's just continue. Matilda Nguyen, how you doing? I don't know if she's still in the chat, but she won another big giveaway earlier. We did a, we did a, um, um, a big, uh, members only collaboration show and she won, she won the challenge. Matilda, what's up? I know I'm going to send, um, somebody for, for euros for us in a minute. When did I buy this stuff? Okay. So the shipping was really slow. I ordered this, um, two weeks ago and it arrived Friday, Friday. So it's, is it Monday? Yeah. It arrived Friday, sold Monday, shipped Monday. Uh, you need a new wardrobe. You got skipped? Yes, you did get skipped because I just want to do this one because it's um, 25. Then we'll go back. Where do I need to go? I need to start at the end of this? Yeah. You got to go to the black one first. Hmm. Black. Yeah, don't worry, guys. All right, so Hilly, you're up next. You're up next, Hilly. Romanian Mike says, how are you doing? How am I doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Actually, like, can you see my question? Ask me again. How are you doing? Living the dream. <laughs> there you Is go. that better? <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. Um, Nguyen, Matilda, we're going to do 25 pieces. And then we'll do Hilly Lynn after that. Okay, here we go. 25 pieces. Thank you, Nancy, for joining as a member. Master says regards from Switzerland. We love your videos. Thank you. Um, guys um wait is the mic should i can I take the mic off yeah you can. okay sorry okay. as we were filming earlier i'm in i'm in oakland california the show tomorrow the stuff is actually better because it's not um it doesn't tomorrow there's no kids so today there's a bunch of kids and there's a lot of house brands um tomorrow's show will be a lot better and i'm going to be a little bit more organized and it'll start a little bit later in the day and i didn't have any coffee today so, uh, let's see. All right, wait, you want food for lunch? You guys hungry yet? Yeah? <laughs> let's see. Let's go. What about our Euro budget? Did people buy it? Yeah, they did. Let's see if we have the Euro. Eggs Flynn bought some. Bought some. Oh, it's, it's sold out. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, guys, thanks for lunch. Um, what do you guys want for drinks? You guys care? I'm going to scrub them. Yeah, we have water here. <laughs> okay, wait, but no water there. Everyone that so works for me is I a cheap a date. So it's nice. You guys want lunch? <laughs> wait, maybe, are we related? No, nobody here is related, unfortunately. I want to try, who's that guy, A.O. Figs? He buys people a pizza. That's, that's awesome. I don't know how to do that, though. How does he do that? Does he, somebody wins and then he, like, how, how do you do that? Door, oh, DoorDash. You can buy me a pizza. You'll allow it? Okay, we gotta get back to work. I have so oh, much work I to see. do. So then they. Uh, Alright, Nguyen Matilda. You guys ready? I need some help. 
It's not giveaway time yet. Okay. So it'll be a mix of um, clothing and kids. So this is the first piece, rip curl. What would you guys sell this for? It's men's swim shorts. MSRP is 30, MSRP is 30 bucks. Rip curl, really nice surfer brand. Here's number one. No doubles. CJ was right, this, this lot's kind of like, <laughs> there's too much kids in it. Mm. Wow. Okay. What size kids? The kids are between um, toddler. To, there was a really cute baby North Face. Mm -hmm. Actually, it wasn't baby. It was toddler. Mm -hmm. Dive in. I'll, I'll, I'll get in there. Don't worry. Okay, this is uh, renamed, which I've never heard of. Wait, do you guys know this brand? Maybe it's expensive. Maybe Matilda came up. Renamed. Do you guys know the bundle sold out? You have to wait till tomorrow. Do I look and sound? I look and sound familiar. Unknown. Okay. Marnie says he called my name earlier. BB Johnson, to ten pieces, but skipped over showing the clothes. No. Nope. I it's BB Johnson. We didn't skip it. Mm. This is a um, bathing suit. The brand is Raisins. I'm gonna guess it's not great, but the MSRP is forty-two dollars. I think this is our um, Sundry brand. It is so Sundry tie-dye pants, MSRP. $78, not bad. Volcom, Volcom swim bottom. This seems like it could be really good. Whoa, okay, well this is, it seems, I've never heard of this brand. Opening ceremony. You guys know about it? It's like a velour dress. It's good. It's a good one. Good brand streetwear. Opening ceremony. Very expensive, very good. All right. Opening ceremony detail down the sleeve. Yeah, BNG. BMB, um, your package is out there. Yeah, 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 we showed it. We showed it. $400, wow. They said nice this, piece. Oh, okay. okay. They saw the one item, but not all. The guy is not there. The truck. The truck. Oh, he's not? What did we get? Burritos? Just that the Yeah. We're going to well, get burritos instead. Any, any certain orange? For burrito? Yeah. Uh, uh, no sense. What? I don't really care. Just Harper no Canyon kids. Yeah. 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 I'm good with it. Yeah. We've been getting tamales. But there's nobody here. No, no. I mean, I mean on Sunday. Oh. We've been getting tamales at the flea market. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. 1901 dress. Hmm. That's a house brand, right? 1901. Do you guys go sleeveless? Is there a different name for this with the with the cutout? Style Maven, what's up? 1901, new attacks, sleeveless. What time is the show tomorrow? 10 in the morning. I'll have more stuff. Sleeveless. Romanian Mike says sleeveless. <laughs> okay. Next. <clears throat> First five, this is cute. It's like an autumn onesie. Oh, cute. Very, very cute. 10 a.m. California. The size is, why does the size matter? 6M. <laughs> six, six months. Six, six months. <laughs> cute. 
All right, let's go. You two people are okay still? Uh-huh. Okay, sorry guys, this is a long stream. Elodie, crop. This is Matilda. Socialite, house brand. There we go. Socialite, is it a house brand? How many house brands are there? Good lord. This is like a house brand tutorial. I would say it's like 80, okay, let's be honest. What percentage is house brand and kids? I would say 75 to 80%. That's my, my assessment of how many house brands and kids are in this lot. It's ridiculous. Okay. They said they took the house brands out. Was it even higher? Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is pretty dope. Matilda did pretty good. This is another um, Nike romper. This one's black instead of the white, so it's nice. This is a nice pickup. I think Matilda did okay on this lot. $65 MSRP. Can you guys see? I think she did okay. And it's also a good size, 1X. Very cute. Matilda's here. So Matilda, I'm sorry, this this lot's like, I'm actually, I guess I'm not sorry, but it's like either really good or really bad in this lot. This is another brand that is cute, but you won't be able to sell it without keywords. It's the brand MSR. Anybody local want to get a Manny Petty? Bay Area. Best Products is asking, please, how can I find a brand supplies like Nike and Adidas in USA? You have to open a brick and mortar. In order to get Nike and Adidas straight from the brand, you have to be an authorized dealer. Okay. This must be a house brand. How many house? The brand is Love ADY. Love ADY. Kath, Kath Lilia. Figure out where we should go. I'll bring my wife. Or actually, she, whatever. If she, uh, if she wants to. She just got her nails done yesterday. <laughs> we'll do a reseller event. Manny Petty. Okay. This is another kid's outfit. 25 items is a lot. This is going to take all day, I imagine. So far, not worth my time. It's been fun, but not really worth it business-wise. Playboy bunny shirt. There's also Tordas and Adidas. Okay. Um, I like Tordas. Yeah. Yeah. Allergen. You, what do you guys want? Quesadilla or Torta? Torta. I'll have one of each. Or, but the, is that all they have? Or burritos? Yeah, and burritos. Oh, I have we'll a burrito. We'll do a burrito. Yeah, I'll do a burrito. I thought you said that's all they have. <laughs> Abound. We've seen this shirt already. It's the Relentless t-shirt. That's Strivers Row. This one we've seen before, Thread for Thought. I would say there's a decent amount of doubles in here too. This is a double, so I'm replacing it. No doubles in each order. This is a Volcom, either a Volcom bra or a bralette or a Volcom swim bottom. I'm not gonna open it. So Lush, is this is Lush a Nordstrom house brand? I, I think it is. I haven't seen it yet today though. Lush, Lush, house. Thank you, Pasher. Romanian Mike wants you to roast his store. Okay, Harper Canyon. <laughs> The roast review request is out of control, so I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm gonna have these guys, we'll try to do like 10 in a row, because there's a lot of requests. <laughs> this is, uh, there's so much garbage. Guys, this is like very wasteful. Fast fashion is very wasteful. Okay. 
Halogen. Halogen, I know. Halogen is a house brand. This is an unboxing show. Um, yeah, so we already sold everything and now we're just showing everything so people can learn the brands. And this last one is an LED sweater. We've already shown this. That's the LED logo so you guys can remember it. You see it in the wild. And the burritos are steak and shrimp. I'll do steak. And shrimp. Oh, it's both together? Yeah, I don't Oh, okay, that's fine. We're gonna try steak and shrimp burritos. <laughs> it, it, it's suspect though. <laughs> it's interesting that putting It's suspect. Shrimp. I don't know. What do you guys think? Steak and shrimp. Starve or try the steak and shrimp burrito? It's, what is that called? LED is good, people are saying. Um, Try it. Or, um, Don't forget the guac. So, oh, surf and turf. Surf and turf. Surf and turf. People would rather starve. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You guys ready? Hilly. Sorry for making you wait. Hilly in LA. Hilly in LA. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hilly in LA. This is a pair of Halston. What are these types of pants called? It's very light. Are they sweatpants or joggers? Halston Studio. They might be joggers. $39.99 MSRP in Nordstrom Rack. Joggers? Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yogging. Joggers. Joggers. <laughs> Joggers. All right. Next is Cindy Jones. Cindy Jones. No, we actually bought a pallet today and we uh, sold all of it already, so now we're just going through it. Cindy Jones. What you get is. Yes, I'll be running the giveaway shortly. We're doing giveaways all day today. This is a pair of Van shorts, Nordstrom, very beautiful. MSRP is $48, but they're on sale for 20, but you paid 10, not terrible. If, if I was entering in an auction for $10 and I won this, would you be mad? You, you're not gonna make a profit though. If you sell, you're probably gonna get, you might even lose $2, two to $5, but I don't know. It's not terrible. So the next pallet will be tomorrow, but actually, I don't know. The next pallet won't be for tomorrow, but the next set will be tomorrow at 10 in the morning. So make sure you bookmark all my shows. And the shoe lot in the back, that's gonna be wild. Can you guys see that in the back? The shoe lot back here, that's like $30,000 worth of shoes. That's on Friday. That's even better than this. So um, what I would do right now, if you can, hop into that show, buy a pair of shoes, there's, the shoes go all the way up to $3,000, so it's going to be sick. Okay, here we go. Next is... Oh my god, another set of 25. This is exhausting. Frost 522. This is like a... I'm going to have a PhD in house brands from Nordstrom. <laughs> I'm going to let the guy know, like, if you took the house brands out of this lot, what was in it before? Yeah. Okay, 25 pieces. <clears throat> Ooh, this is this is a banger. Yeah, let me just make sure this is 25 pieces. This is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. Okay, so full transparency. I think this lot is like 50% garbage, 50% I. So I think it's all right. For 250 bucks, I probably wouldn't be pissed if I got this lot. I can't see all of it because I don't know exactly what's in these bags, but I think it's, it's like medium. But I'm going to be asking this person for a refund. So actually, before I reveal who the brand is, I'm actually going to reach out to them and find out what happened. Because it's like 90% kids in house brand. So before I set them on fire, I'm going to ask if they respond. Okay. So Catherine Malandrino, you guys know this brand? I would say it's house. The shoes are on Friday. You can go to, you can bookmark the show and check it out. Bundles are sold out. How thick of wire do you need it? It sells okay. Okay. This is the lush top that we showed earlier. I'm not going to open it. There's a lot of doubles now. Very cute. New UK onesie. Let's go. Um, oh, can you guys not bookmark future shows? We can. Oh, they can. Okay. Some people saying it's are saying it's not working. Hmm. Okay. Next is a set of Harper Canyon girls' pants. By girl, I mean small girl. Yeah, elementary school. Elementary school? Yeah, um, this is... What? Kai says they must have sent you the wrong palette. This is literally... This is like all house brand. <clears throat> Sweet Romeo. Sweet Tomatoes. Is this a house brand? I think so. Sweet Jake Romeo. Johnson is asking, I'm late to the party. How do you win stuff? We have the 25 item random consignment lock coming up. It's worth $250, so it's the best giveaway of the day minimum. It's worth, it's, it's a lot. So it'll be a, it'll be in um, a preview of tomorrow's boxes. Yeah, he's selling stuff on Whatnot right now. So you can go to the link in the description and that links you to Whatnot and then follow him on Daily Refinement. So is, is Frost here? Frost522, are you here? This is your lot, and um, like there's a like this is a really nice piece. You're here, okay. So this piece is pretty. This is a nice, nice peacoat, double breasted, halogen times Atlantic Pacific. It feels like a pretty good collaboration. Faust says this is like every other liquidation palette. Some good, some bad. Is this a good one? MSRP is one hundred ninety nine dollars. That's not bad. One ninety nine. Let's go. Extra buttons. That's cute. So, this is like good and terrible on this lot, in my opinion. Okay. Threads for thought. There's so much freaking garbage. Every single item is individually packaged. That's such a waste. Okay. Threads for thought. Active wear. This is a uh, active top. I might have to have a Cedra and Victor do it in tandem with me because otherwise it's going to take yeah, all day. Like back and forth. Um, Hot Hippie, do you guys know? Hot Hippie? Hot Hippie? Is it a house brand? Oh my god, how... Wait, it's, it's expensive, it's a great brand. It's okay. Hot Hippie. You're a hot hippie? I'll be the judge of that, just kidding. You probably are a hot hippie. Okay. Romanian Mike, he's not gonna reveal who who he got the palette from yet. Until I, read, until I contact him. Yeah. Uh, beauty is also in, in the mind. So, I don't really care what you look like. All I care about is what's on the inside. All right, here we go. 
Lulu's. This oh. is brand new. This is uh, this is nice. Very yeah. cute. What's the bottom of this shape called? It kind of looks like handkerchief to me, but I don't know. Usually that's the completely asymmetrical. Yeah. Is it a romper or a dress? It's a dress. Dress. If it's a romper, do you guys show the picture of the shorts below so people can confirm? <laughs> handkerchief style, people were saying. Okay. Empty hanger. Thank you, Jenna. MSRP is $78. So that seems kind of low. Yeah. So, okay. Question. It has this return label on the back. Does that mean you could return it? I don't think so, right? What does the return label do? Nothing, right? What is the no, no it was already returned somebody returned it got it interesting got it okay now we know a bear's life says chris last week i received my first nordstrom palette and it is 60 percent house brands some kids minimal women's maybe 15 percent they have a label called bp which is the nordstrom gender neutral clothing oh and he got tons of bp labels I didn't get much BP in this one. Did you guys see a lot of BP? I think only maybe like five pieces so mm. far. This is a, uh, we have some, but not a lot. This is, what? I think this one? it's a halter. No, no. Yeah, the other way. It goes around the leg. Bro. This is where the head. Oh, what? what? Okay. <laughs> that, this should not cost money. <laughs> it's such little fabric. It's a crop top. This or is, is it this is insane. Why wear anything at all? <laughs> it's twelve dollars. Seriously, this should not cost money. Look at this piece of fabric. It's like a napkin. What do you? How do you guys feel about when you go to people's homes and they have the cloth handkerchief that they can wash instead of disposable napkins? I like it. <laughs> Terry is asking how many items were in there. Seven hundred and fifty items in this pack today. This looks like, um, it looked like the sundry piece, but it's another thread for thought. I think it's so corny to use a number and words in the same. It's, <laughs> really? I don't, I don't like it. Oh, Tara Thrift says BP is brass plum and not yeah. gender neutral. Last time I shopped. I, I know BP is brass plum. I don't know if it's gender neutral, but we did see BP in the men's, didn't you? Yes, you did. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's BP in the men's section, so I don't know if it's gender neutral or not. Mm. <clears throat> this is a bundle of 25 items for um, Frost. This is $29, so it's a little kid's Henley, kid's Henley sweater. So guys, is Henley this material? Is that what's called Henley? Like waffle mix? Oh, this is Henley. No, this is waffle. Thank you, fam. Yeah. Oh, Henley is the neckline. Thank you. Mm. It's the texture. This is waffle. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Waffle knit. Hue? Hue is terrible. I always pass on it at the thrift. Hue, H-U-E. You guys pass on this, right? Mm. Oh, Henley is the half button up. Mm -hmm. You guys know about that? The Henley? Okay. So it could be Henley and a waffle knit. This is a terrible brand. I pass. Okay, this is the other NSR. So how long can you guys stream? How many hours? Because I, I can go all day. NSR, this is... That's cute. I, Jenna, Jenna's really good though, because Jenna puts a lot of work and she actually knows what she's talking about, so it's different. I don't know anything. You like it? Yeah, it's, it's nice. so I like cute. It's cute. Yeah, Jenna is awesome. We had a reseller event and Jenna was one of the speakers. It was a good time. Where's Alyssa today? Let's see. She's probably... What? Okay. This looks like a poncho. The brand is Status. Extra large. Ombre, right? Mm -hmm. What is this style called? Jenna is empty hanger, yes. Ombre. 
How come this ombre doesn't have the H? <laughs> See, this is spelled like it. Oh, Alyssa is here. <laughs> Everybody follow Alyssa. She does shows too. How come this ombre doesn't have an H? Ombre kimono. Um, water, waterfall style cardigan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first. I got it. That's very reasonable to make a difference. Okay. These lots of 25 are, there's a lot of stuff in here. I should be standing on, do you guys have these rubber, um, this out. I just... I'm standing on one of those rubber mats that they have at cashiers. Papa too. Cute little girl's dress. <laughs> Lush. This is like seriously, all house brands. Lush. This is a. Um... I'm sorry. I don't know this neckline. I'm embarrassed. I shouldn't know what this neckline is. Anti-fatigue mat. Anti-fatigue mat. Scoop. They told me there was no house brands in this palette, and it's like all house brands. Scoop. Peasant, sweetheart. Okay, what is it? Well, this, this, the neckline is scoop, but then the style of this oh, top part it's is peasant. peasant. I see, I see. Peasant. What is the definition of peasant? Somebody who doesn't own land, is that? <laughs> I think I mean, the actual word peasant. Yeah, what does the word peasant mean? Doesn't peasant mean you don't own any land? <laughs> Big Victor is getting food. And we're for us. all peasants. <laughs> Wait, isn't that what it means? It's a dress. <laughs> oh, you they miss Victor, I know. I'll be out of here soon. Don't worry, I'll leave. I'll leave as soon as possible. I know when I'm not wanted. All right, let's see. Kicked out of my own company. <laughs> Elodie. Elodie is, this is the, the um, is this ribbed? It is, right? Yeah, kind of. Single stitching. Uh, Elodie, when did I hire Victor? Victor was like a twofer. I hired a Cedra, <laughs> and Victor came with the package. Yeah. It wasn't even, on, it wasn't even on, on, okay, so I have this like, <laughs> I know <laughs> Victor. Victor came, he came with the package. It was a twofer. Another kid's outfit. Victor was an accident. <laughs> Is that the right title? <laughs> he just happened. Um, he just he just happened. Up. I think that's the right term. This is a Playboy bunny shirt. Playboy bunny. This is interesting. It's got some uh, bedazzling. bedazzling. On, yeah. He was a bonus. He was an add-on. That's true. He was a bolt-on. <laughs> okay, we've got a few more pieces. This lot just seems like it's, it's going on and on. Romanian Mike is asking if you have any suggestions for his situation. What is the situation? So I stopped posting in January and my sales went really, really low. So I will start posting again. I will start with five items daily for a month and increase from there. It gets overwhelming when you do everything, though. Sourcing, posting items, and shipping, etc. Sure. Any suggestions? Yes, I'll give you some suggestions. This brand is called 19... After this. Okay. 19 Cool. I don't know if it's a house brand or not. Hmm. 19 Cool, anybody know? This is a cool dress. Um, we got two more pieces, and then I'll comment on your situation. This is a kid's pajama set. Leveret. Leveret. And then there's two pieces left. Remains again. And this is $62. Shop David, what's up? $62 for a intimate set. <laughs> um, how would I rate the palette so far? As far as as advertised, I would rate this palette probably a three out of 10, but um, quality wise is not bad. I would say it's like a six out of 10, but um, quality wise six out of 10, but it's not as advertised because they said no house brand and it's like 99% house brands. Um, vintage, vintage, what's up? Um, okay, here we go. This is it. Frost, that was your 25 pieces. 
So do you have any suggestions? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the, the question is, I haven't listed in a while and I'm coming back. My sales are really slow. I'm going to start at five listings a day and work my way up because it's hard when you do everything on your own. So there's a few things here that are interesting. Like, yes, if you take time off your store, eBay is one of those platforms where if you take time off or you list a bunch of garbage, all your previous store and your previous listings, they'll remember that and they'll hold a grudge against you. So when you start posting good items, they don't know if you're going to post good items or bad items. So what I would recommend is not what people want to hear, but it would be to start over and pick a listing goal that you can stay consistent with forever and have a draft bank of at least two weeks. So I always recommend starting from one to five listings per day. Keep that going, start over, your sales will be okay. Make sure you have at least one sale per hundred when you're first starting. Keep it small. Um, and I would rather have a store with a hundred items that sells one a day than a store with a thousand items that sells one a day. So it's best to keep small, stay in your niche, be consistent. If you take two weeks off or three weeks off or a month off, it's gonna show all the algorithms that you're not consistent. So they're not gonna give you consistent traffic. Okay, so if you get, eBay gives you like, let's say 10 units of traffic for every listing. So you go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. If you go two, zero, two, zero, two, zero, your traffic looks like this. And then you're gonna have random days. So for me personally, I wanna list at least 1,000 items per week. That's what I was doing on eBay before I got suspended. And now I'm trying to do 1,000 items per week on whatnot. It's the same thing. So it's just your cadence of whatever you're comfortable with. We need to work up to it. I wouldn't start at 1,000 items a week. I would start at 35 items a week. And I recommend being able to do it all in one day. So instead of doing it every single day, I would do it, have the capacity to do it all in one day and then strip, and stretch it forward. So like on a Saturday, you could do 35. I got suspended for um, not being able to provide invoices that were line by line. So last year on eBay, I did 2.8 million or something like that. 2.1 million shoes, 700,000 clothing. And because I didn't have line by line invoices, I didn't qualify for managed payments as audit. So managed payments suspended me. The payment processor for eBay uh, was high risk. So um, it is what it is. Lunchtime for the crew, so I'll take over while they eat. Yeah. Oh, this is Frost. That's why I was suspended. That's my advice. Hopefully that makes sense. But start small, stay consistent. From nothing says you got suspended in school. I know. I only got suspended one time for playing basketball and dunking on kids in the play center. So I got arrested and uh, taken back to school and I didn't get a ticket or anything, but they did not like that. So I got suspended at school for, I don't know, like, uh, it wasn't me, but I, I was a, I don't know. For an Asian person, I'm tall. Okay, ready? Katathea, what's up? So Looks like they bought another one that right there too. Oh, they bought a few actually. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we're just gonna do one for now. Mm. Wait, how many did you buy? Victor will come say hi. I know. I know. <laughs> Everyone has a crush on Victor. I get it. <laughs> Tw oh, she bought twenty-seven items. Sheesh. So she did twenty-five, and then. So got maybe two, we'll do two individuals. Um, I'll cross this out. Did you already do the Oh wait, did we already do the 25? Victor for Victorious? Daily Victor? <laughs> it just changes. Oh, we did okay, so <laughs> the Daily Vic Daily Victor is good. When I decide to retire, I'll hand it off to him. Okay, so um Victor Refinement. Victor <laughs> Refinement's good too. Okay, we're gonna do two. For Kath. Katatia. Okay, two pieces. Let's do it. You guys can grab lunch. I'm a machine. I'm gonna keep going. I, I I've seen Nine Inch Nails ten times now, and my pretty hate machine shirt 
from 1994. It's worth a lot of money. It's like, okay, your two pieces are threads for thought. And laundry by Shelly Seagal. And because you're modding, I'm gonna throw in another one. From Khan, I'm not familiar with. It's almost Thrifty Christie's turn. So we're gonna send you an additional item because you are doing the mod. Oh, okay. Can you get one of the wrap pieces for her? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a mystery, right? Yeah. Appreciate my mods. Okay, yep. Follow from nothing. Wait, wait. We didn't show it yet? Let me see. Oh, it's here. Okay. Nice. Yes, we could do that. So 25 pieces for her too. I got you. I think that's 25, I'm not sure you want to grab that. This is? Okay. But you get two or you got? Two or you got 27. Oh, okay. You can double check. Yeah, I'll double check real quick. So I can't include any extras because I think this has exactly 750 pieces in it, but I do have extras that make up for it. So if people bought some questionable um, lots, um, I'll add in a couple of freebies. Tomorrow is way better because tomorrow all the items are thrifted. So Jenna, there was a lady that, um, she's local. She thrifted, um, story time, I need a break. She thrifted um, about 10 items a day for two and a half years so she, so like march 2020 happened and we went into the pandemic um she got kind of depressed so she went out thrifting every single day she bought 10 items every single day over the course of two and a half years she has uh, she accumulated 7700 items but she had zero listings so she didn't even list one item um so she watched um she watches YouTube and Instagram and everything. She's a reseller, yeah, but she didn't list anything the last two and a half years. So she DM'd me and said, can you buy me out? And normally, I am I I don't really do buyouts unless it's like a lot of stuff, but she had 7,700 items. So I thought, okay, maybe we'll do a buyout. But um, let's see. We didn't. Re I didn't really know because it was all in storage. So she's paying $350 a month for storage. So three hundred fifty dollars a month for storage. The company was called Clutter. Have you guys heard of this? Clutter. They'll come pick up the stuff from your house and they'll store it off site. You guys have heard of this? Um, anyway, she ordered the pickup. Clutter dropped off all the stuff this morning here. So I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell her stuff and split it with her 50-50. So um, so Ellie is in the chat. So everybody follow Ellie. She'll do a show later too. But I want Ellie's in the chat. She dropped up her stuff here. So um, she's going to be, we're going to be splitting at 50 50. I'm going to do a sample, the 25 random lot right now. And I'm going to run it tomorrow. And um, hopefully it turns out well. What's up, Big Mike's Fire? So yeah. Also, it makes sense because like I was trapped at home with my wife and baby. So it's like not as bad as people who are trapped alone on their own. I don't know, a lot of people, it, it's different. The pandemic was either really good for people or really bad for people. So tomorrow I wanna do lots of 25. Um, Ellie's in the chat somewhere, someone can tag her. Um, but she, this, they dropped up the stuff earlier. Actually, it's not even all of it. So tomorrow we're only gonna do 2,500 pieces, but it's a lot. Ellie's in the chat, Ellie 18, 1824. Um, but there's 25, um, we're just going to do 2,500 items tomorrow. And then also we'll go through it and you guys can see how, if she's a good picker or not, right? Find out if she's a good picker or not. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Um, same strategy as today, but today we only did 750 items. And tomorrow I'm going to have more help 
and it's a lot easier to go through used items because I don't need to open every single freaking bag. Right? All right, let's do it. So, Katha Tia, we're gonna do your 25 items. This is how much trash there's been of just the bags. It's wild. Okay. I'm high on life, that's why I can do this stream for so long. Okay, this is the um, supplies brand, which is, I think the Urban, what is, oh, Union Bay. Union Bay brand. So this is the one we said that we would sell for 15 plus shipping. I, I would personally accept any offer over $8. This is $50, oh, this is another pair. Actually, I'm not gonna include this because I don't want any doubles. That was the same thing. So it's really, really easy to buy about 10 items a day, right? So if you buy 10 items a day and you don't even notice, over the course of many years, you'll have a big death pile. Hudson Shorts, this is a nice one. Size 30, MSRP $69 is a good one. It's like, oh, she was buying 30 a day. Uh-oh. 30 a day, 30 a day is strong. I was gonna say, you know what, if we cut off the if we if we took away your car, you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't be able to do it. Oh wait, you Ubered? Oh my god. Ellie. Ellie. That's wild. That's expensive, girl. That's expensive. Um, okay, here we go. Next is open edit. Kids dress. This or girls dress. This is nice. I actually believe that. The MSRP is $50 on this. It's very cute. Kind. Everybody show kindness. You want to show your bottle opening skill? Oh, sweet. Wait, do you guys, can you guys open a bottle with anything? Let's try to open a bottle with a Sharpie. Oh, snap. <laughs> that was sick. Wait, can you guys still like... <laughs> See, this is interesting, right? Okay, well, what else do you want to try? I, I partied in my 20s a lot. Uh, okay, let's try. No, that one wasn't, that one wasn't as sexy, but... Dang, that was impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, any, any, well, in, in college I drank a lot, so we used, um, you could just open anything with anything. Um, I can't open a bottle on a bottle. I've tried that, and one night, I just end up making a mess. Okay. All right, here we go. You need a YouTube video on that? I got you. Let's make a short. Okay, next piece. My favorite brand, Sweet Tomatoes, AKA Sweet Romeo. Vertical, ribbed. Wait, is this considered ribbed still? It's not super thick. Sweet Romeo, Alex in the house, what's up? Next is Lush. Alex, I, I was supposed to buy this Nod House brand Nordstrom palette right here. 750 pieces, but it ended up being mostly Nordstrom House brand. So we decided to sell it. Actually, I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was before I bought it. This is a lush um, peasant top. Did somebody look that up for me? Doesn't peasant mean non-landowner? Like, why do they use that term? This is the homeless neckline. All right, next, Elodie. Peasant's not a cool word. Elodie, ribbed, crop top. All right, next, Playboy. This is good stuff. These things are supposed to remove moisture. What happens if you eat it? Has anybody tried eating this? These come in a lot of clothing to prevent uh, moisture from building up in the clothing package. I've never tried eating one. <laughs> you go to the hospital. <laughs> okay, um, Playboy. So there's a bunch of Playboy stuff in here. I haven't found any Psycho Bunny, which is a great brand. LED, we've gone over this, this before. All right, hopefully those of you on YouTube are still getting value. All right, let's see. 
Lulu's dress size extra small. This is the $78 one. You guys were saying that this is an asymmetrical shape, right? Asymmetrical. Thrifty Theaters, um, basically I sold this palette earlier um, in units of 110 or 25, and now I'm just showing it because per whatnot rules, I'm supposed to show every single item that I sell. So we're just showing all the items right now. And we're almost done. We only have a few more orders left to do. So once we are done showing all this, we can move on to tomorrow's show. Just about done. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the item sold out. I wasn't expecting it to sell out that fast. I will have Victor and Asidra help. One, because people miss Victor and um, Asidra, but also I might run out of energy. Harper Canyon, little cute heart sweater. Kath, are you a mom? It is cute. A poor farmer. Oh, here we go. A poor farmer of low social status who owns or rents a small piece of land for cultivation. I love it. Poor farmer social. Here we go. This is the poor farmer. This is the poor farmer, AKA peasant. All right. This is the Volcom baby doll. Um, we've, we've shown this already. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna open it up. Let's see. Yeah, I ran the lots already, unfortunately. They sold out faster than I thought they would, so we're gonna try again tomorrow with 2,500 with Ellie's stuff and see how Ellie's pickings went. Massimo. This is like the good Massimo, not the Massimo at Target. Swim bottom. DR2, the Daily Refinement Squared model. It's my house brand. 3692. It's my house brand. You guys thought you knew me? You don't know me. Okay. You guys don't know me. Um, I know, right? This has actually been quite informative. Thank you, everyone. I feel like I know a little bit more. This is this is nice. It's a pair of running shorts. It's cute. Dry fit, brand new. I would say the MSRP is $50, but let's check it out. Nike shorts. I like the stripes on the side. MSRP is... How come this is only $30 MSRP? I feel like this would be more. The other shorts we looked at were 50 and they were just like... Maybe they were more compression. Um, everything was $10 today. Which I feel like people thought was fair. Man, there's a lot of freaking pieces. A lot of stuff to go through. There's a, they said it was about 20% kids, but I feel like it's a little bit more than that. This is a, wow, $49 for this. Chelsea 28, is this a house brand? I haven't seen this yet today. Chelsea 28, Nordstrom house brand. Will somebody please tell me how many Nordstrom house brands there are? Because I feel like we've gone through a good amount of them today. Sells good? Okay. Halston. Halston. Leggings. There's always a risk you can take with mystery lots. Yeah, I agree. It's true. I mean, I could, if, if this was all garbage, I probably would have had to, um, like, okay, I think it's worth $10. If it wasn't, if I charged 15, I would honestly feel bad, but 10. I'll sleep just fine. It's nothing. It's not. Halston. And this is actually Threads for Thought. See, this is annoying because this is Threads for Thought, but it was in a Halston bag. So. J. 
champion sports bra. That halter top that we looked at earlier, that was crazy. That was like, I can't believe that that cost money. It was like the, the material of a napkin. This is a mage, but not the good mage, M-A-G-E. This is the M-A-A-G-I, Maji? Maji. Uh, I've been selling women's clothing for years. I just, um, I usually pass on most of these brands. One more Harper kid stop. Wait, Maji is good? I know, my daughter's gonna be, gonna be something else. She's super cute. Okay. Wow, this is like, this is insane. How many orders do you guys usually do? And what's the most items you have done? The most items I have sold in the stream is 1,600. Okay, KLAT 33, let's go. Three, two, one. It's actually... After looking at this list of HB Online, I can't believe I've heard you call one out yet. What, wait, what, what HB? What's HB? Somebody tell me what HP is. Oh, house brands. <laughs> uh, wait, I haven't even called them out yet. Okay, this is this is for KLAT thirty three. This is the brand. KLAT thirty three. The brand is Angie. This is a. Would you guys say this is a maxi dress? It's pretty long. Nordstrom. Yes. You think it's cute? It's good looking? Nice piece. We'll give my Lucy 7777. That's a very lucky number. This pair of supplies by Union Bank. Okay. Next, Allison M, let's go. Wait, CJ Steven, there's no way there's 20 brands. There might be 20, there might be 200 house brands. I think I've done like 50 plus house brands today. Allison MM, let's go. All right, let's see. Hopefully this is a good one. There's gotta be a ton. All right, here we go. This is kind of a womp womp. It says a uh, no sleep club. Free press. It's kind of cute. It's kind of a womp womp. I'm still, I'm, I'm not, I think I might be going all night. There's like a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot, a lot, a lot to go through. Um, I, I have like, I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't see, but I'm about, I'm going to say I'm about halfway done. There's probably 200 house brands. Okay, next. Oh my God, you guys are going to kill me. Sean and Ray's got 25 more items to go. I'm going to have a drink. I'll have food after they finish eating. The captain sinks with the ship and eats last. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's what I heard. This isn't the, this is not the Titanic though. One. I will be asking for a partial refund. This is, this is a banger.
25 pieces. Let's go. <laughs> Shannon says not the halter. This is a this is a this is a decent mix. It's a decent mix. Can't have can't win them all. I'm trying to make it fair. So this was the Adidas. I'm gonna open this because I really like this. This is the Adidas top. It's made out of the, out of their dry fit material. It's really really cute. It's a size three X. Easy to sell. I think these are the uh, sundry pants. They are sundry pants. Maybe ask 25, not bad. You've seen worse on, okay, what do you guys think? Have you seen worse unboxings than this? I have definitely seen worse unboxings than this. There's, there's worse stuff. Um, this is like, oh, to be honest, this is actually average, but it's not supposed to have house brands. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just like I've seen, I've seen better. I've seen worse. This is uh, Angie. We saw this earlier. This maxi dress. This one, okay. It's like no. I was gonna say I thought it was some kind of special material, but it just feels like polyester. Okay, this is, I haven't heard of this brand either. I don't know if it's house or not. The fifth label, you guys, what do you think? Random Garage, what's up? Have you guys heard of this? The fifth label. Never heard of it? It's I? I don't know about it. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to do a drawing in just a second and show people what the preview of the show will be tomorrow. So Ellie is in the chat. Ellie is here. Oh, it's, it's similar to Cheap's. Cheap, Cheap. This is Ellie's stuff, which we're going to run tomorrow. So I'm going to make a lot. Can you guys hear me? I'm going to make a lot of 25 items from here, and then we're going to give it away at the end so you guys can see what it looks like. And then tomorrow I want to run 2,500 items. <clears throat> We can end the YouTube stream at one. It's almost one. You, it's almost two. Wow. <laughs> that's like, let's, let's end it at two. One. That's crazy. <laughs> We've been going strong. This is taking forever. We have and a lot of footage too, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Jeez, oh, I thought it was one o'clock. It's almost two o'clock. <laughs> Wait, when did we start? 10. Oh, 10. Oh, yeah? 10 a.m. Okay. Andy and Evan, kids. Wow. Okay, so I think it's pretty standard, but in most of these pallets, you will get doubles. So this is the third time we've seen this um, Lulu's dress, the asymmetrical one. It is cute. Um, it's $79 MSRP. It's a win, but just remember when you buy stuff from a pallet, there will be doubles. people on YouTube can still hear. Life, Christina Martinez. Uh, Life Things is asking, what is the best advice for selling used clothes on eBay? The best advice is start slow, only reinvest profits. That's probably the best advice. Yeah. Only reinvest profits. Don't use your own money. Mm -hmm. Another kid's pair of pants. These are, these are <laughs> sparkly. Peyton says, how close do you think you are at being done? Halfway. This is taking forever. A bound? Sorry. You guys are lucky you have a lot of energy because. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Shayna, this is the best piece. Well, one of the best pieces. It's the. Uh, it's the um, romper. The Nike romper. Nike romper size 1x what what's the what's the equivalent of the 1x size in numbers anybody know 14 it's a nice one 14 I would say 14 
L or D, we've gone over this one before. Wait, not 14? 18 to 20? Really? 18 to 20? I for feel 1X? like it's not that big for 1X. Is it? What platform is better selling clothes, eBay or Poshmark? eBay. It's not even close. <laughs> Although Poshmark did reach out and I might I might start selling there again. Since I can't sell on eBay. Threads for thought active. Another abound top. Socialite. Is Socialite a, a house oh. brand? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Socialite? Yeah. Yes, I do think I get my eBay account back. I do. I got suspended for selling shoes and I haven't sold shoes since November. So it's like the credit card chargeback period is already passed if they're worried about the payment processing. Okay, I haven't heard of this brand yet. Melody. Melody? You guys know about this? Melody? Nope, I can't sell anything on eBay. I can't buy anything on eBay. You guys like this? Wait, it's ugly? Do I want them back? Uh, yeah, I do. It's an okay. This one says three. Oh, okay. I'll get two more. Two more for Kayla. We've got, for her, Threads for Thought shorts. And in a bound mini skirt. Okay. I need to go about this. Okay. So this is all. Yeah, that's all one lady. So she she bought three orders, two singles and twenty five, and this is different. Pack this, and then you said she's lost her. Yeah, out of one for her. Okay, this is good. Cool. This is NSR. This is a nice print. This is Matt. Is this Maxi or Midi? How can you guys tell right away? Because Maxi, Midi, how do you know? What if she has short legs? All right, so um, NSR, Maxi is to the floor, Midi to the calves. But I'm tall, I'm 6'2. I'm 6'2. So like that seems long. All right. This is cute though. I think the MSRP is. I will be trying it. I'll be trying it on clothes on a different platform later tonight. Wait, hold on a second. Is OnlyFans have this kind of format too? Normally I just post videos on there, but. Do they have the live auction? Because I'm not allowed to promote other ones. You think so? I'm not an expert yet. This brand is Vero Moda. Is it good? I have OnlyFans. Reseller after dark. Reseller after dark. We're going to call it on YouTube in five minutes, guys. I'm on every platform. I'm everywhere. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is the fifth label again. Oh, it's a repeat. Thank you. I even said again, so. Okay, here we go. No, oh, this is a repeat also. Awesome. Alright, let's go. This says lettuce. Yo, fam. What is the lettuce part of this? This is the peasant top again. Where is the lettuce part? The bottom. Oh. The Damn, okay. This has got a lot going on. It's got the poor farmer on top and the lettuce on the bottom. 
Wow. I'm not sure if you asked this one yet, um, but Melanie asked, do you suggest cross posting between both or just selling on one platform? Don't cross list, just sell on one platform. If you want to sell on Poshmark, just sell on Poshmark. You'll do fine. You don't need the cross list. Just focus on one platform rather than being bad on more than one platform. Andy and Evan, this is cute. Oliver Rain, ruffle shorts. Is this Veronica Beard? Let me see. Veronica Beard's nice. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet today. No, I haven't. This is BS. It says Veronica Beard on the back, right? But this is on the inside. Like, what the hell? That is, this is not, this, this brand is Less Space, which is nothing. And it says Veronica Beard on the back. So some lady returned Veronica Beard. <laughs> like, it is what it is. Okay, this is a real bikini bottom. This is Tommy John. And I'm gonna look for a, a nicer piece because this this lot was a little light. a little bit light there were six kids items so this one I think six kids items is okay I did, I, I did my best this is a pair of seven for all mankind Josephina wash it's free or no free. you already paid for it it's um size 28 229 dollars MSRP seven fam it's a good brand it's new perfect condition Cuff 10 down here. So we're going to call it on YouTube now. Thank you everybody for coming on YouTube. We're going to continue. Thanks for hanging on, out. Um, whatnot now. Yeah, um, head over to Whatnot. Head over to Whatnot. Cheers, guys.